Can you see me? Is it okay? It, <laughs> am, am I showing up? Is it is it coming through? Do you guys think? How are you? Welcome to day three. Can you believe it? What's up? The ultimate RV show national tour continues. I'm Sean Parr. I've got the Jurgies over here, the Flippin' Tilbies. I love you guys and their families. So great to have you guys here. And I'll tell you what, unprecedented coverage of RVs fresh from the factory, right off of the uh, the grill there. 2021s that we're going to see today. Some amazing vehicles. But more than that, we're going to have a little fun at the same time. We and we're going to get to know each other a little bit and talk about some amazing retail products as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, some fun, fun segments coming up. So make sure you keep watching. This is good. And if you're not registered, make sure you do that, guys, because we got big giveaways, including an RV at the end of today. Yeah. What's amazing is uh, we were just talking to some folks here in Wichita moments ago, and they were watching us uh, the last couple of days. They're saying, how can we register? Can we win? And we had a lady pull out her phone. Uh, her name was Sarah. Bam. She typed it in right there. URBS. She, uh, 46642. She's registered now. She's excited. She might win an RV this weekend. You never know, right? So cool. Now she's life. registered. Yeah, she's registered. And if you're not registered, make sure to get registered as well. Absolutely. Looking forward to a big day today, Sean. Big day. We're excited. Lots lots more to see. Lots more. I think we're going into some toy haulers today. Some big fifth wheel toy haulers with great garages. I, we kind of like the fifth wheel toy haulers. Fifth wheel no. toy haulers. I mean, <laughs> there's something one, about like a great garage. Right. <laughs> yeah, and what the reason why uh, Nelly Jergy was just saying that is because obviously They've been traveling uh, coast to coast across the country in their fifth wheel. It's amazing. But we're going to start today, guys, with the Salem Travel Trailers. These are some beautiful vehicles that you're going to love. As a matter of fact, uh, Forest River. I know you know the name. If you're into RVing, if you're not, you're going to as we get ready for spring break and RV season. Let's take a look at the Salem Hemisphere right now. And here we go, folks. We are in the 2021 Salem Hemisphere 308RL. Now, when we talk about the Salem lineup, and uh, especially for the travel trailer side, the Hemisphere is going to be the big dog, right? It's going to be the one where you're looking at bigger travel trailers, heavier weights, and it's also going to be a lot heavier on amenities. So as you can see, I mean, just by looking at this, right, it's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you have barreled ceiling. Instead of just having, you know, like thin little strips, you have actual pieces of molding going across the roof. You see that behind the fascias, you have lighting, right? I mean, just a, a lot of things that are really gonna help this unit stand apart. Now, the 308 RL is of course a rear living, and this is something we see a lot in fifth wheels. There are some bigger travel trailers that are starting to bring it over, uh, but you know, maybe you don't want a fifth wheel, right? Maybe you want a travel trailer, but you want the amenities of a fifth wheel, then this is one for you. Now, let's start off right over here. Uh, we do have dual opposing slides, but in the campsite slide, I personally really like what they did with the table. It's, it's very unique. You know, it's something that we haven't seen, and again, you know, a lot of manufacturers are starting to take trends from the residential side and that's what we're seeing you have the big bench seat on one side chairs on the other almost like a you know like a, a living edge look for the table right there um, you know the table itself you can see the wood grain I mean it's something a little bit different than than the standard dinette and I, th I applaud them for just kind of stepping a little bit outside the box uh, you'll also see the light fixtures in here right uh, a little more unique here um, you know I just like what they've done you can see the the element in there is Kind of cool. You can see like little acrylic columns, I guess you could call. The other thing I really like they did is with the shades. Now, uh, the reason I say that is because most manufacturers either go black or they go beige. Um, I personally don't like when manufacturers go black. It's, it's just a, a me thing um, because it when you close them all down, at nighttime, it just feels a little more closed in, right? As we all know, the dark colors sometimes can suck the light out of a room. And so if you have black uh, shades all the way around, it just seems darker when you're sitting here. The beige is nice because it's light, but it also shows a lot of dirt and wear easier. This, I think, is a good mix right here. It still feels bright enough that, you know, it, it doesn't feel closed in. And it's, uh, I feel like it's gonna be a little bit more resilient to the wear and tear. Making our way back a little bit further, right back here is our theater seating. Thomas Payne collection, uh, we call it T-Payne for short, um, but the, the it, it's really comfortable furniture. It's directly across from the TV, as you can see, and, and this will be the, the best seat in the house, folks. I mean, you're going to sit right here. You're going to kick your feet up. You're going to have a few beverages uh, and, and just relax, and that's really what this floor plan is all about, 
is you know feeling as much as possible like you're at home while you're on the road. And maybe this is your home. You know, we'll talk a little bit later about some of the features outside. If you know you want to live in this one, um, you know, extended season or year round, but there are things you can do, especially you know if you go to some warmer locales um, in in winter. Now, you know, granted we have cold snaps. I mean, here in Kansas, uh, when we first got here, I mean it was you know, double digit sub zeros. Like it was cold. It's starting to warm up a little bit now, but man, oh man, was that a cold snap. Anyway, uh, something else that's really, I really like about this furniture, it's kind of unique, is inside the armrest, you have USB ports. So if you want to charge your phone, I mean, you know, whether you're sitting here uh, on your phone or even if you just want to charge it and put it away, you know, it's kind of tucked away, it's hidden, it's there when you need it, uh, but it just kind of keeps it out of eyesight, right? Instead of having to plug it in on a countertop where it's just sitting out, uh, I, I know my life, my wife just loves to put everything away, no matter no matter what it is. And so for her, you know, that would be a, a really nice feature. Coming around to the back, you can see the love seat right back here. Now this does fold out to tri-fold sofa, which is a pretty comfortable form of mattress to have in an RV. Definitely better than your traditional pullouts where you have a bar on your back or air mattress that's going to deflate on you. Just pull this one out, you're good to go. And on both sides, you will see that you have nightstands there as well as storage underneath plus electrical outlets and USB ports so whether you know you need to charge a tablet or if you have a laptop something like that um, you're able to work on those right back here and to be honest folks with as many people that are working remotely now and you know working on the road something like this I don't know about you but that seems like a sweet office to me if I'm looking for a mobile office I want somewhere to sit right there is exactly where you'd find my big old butt Right up top, you will see all of the uh, storage there. The storage doors do have glass on them, helping to break up the wood look. A little designer there, too. You can kind of see the barreled ceiling we talked about, right? You can see that, that curvature there helps give you a little more head height, not feel closed in. As for the storage themselves, it is one-hand operation thanks to the struts. When you take a look inside there, you can see it is uh, very useful storage. We talked about the entertainment center. Uh, one of the things I do want to touch on is the multimedia center that's built in. You'll see a DVD player, speakers on both sides here. Um, and then underneath is your fireplace. And that obviously not just looks great, but is also a space heater. One of the other things I love, love, love about this floor plan is the size of the island. A lot of times in travel trailers, uh, you know, especially in rear living, you just don't get a ton of prep space. But when we throw in a kitchen island like this, folks, you have all the prep space in the world right here, which I love. You have the drying rack as well, you know, so you can put that, again, just kind of like this on one half of the sink. If you need to use this, to obviously, to dry dishes or just as extra prep space, you can kind of put the faucet over to this side. But you have a big single basin undermount sink. They're able to undermount it because of the upgraded countertops here. And this is a high-rise pullout faucet. You also will get storage underneath. Just kind of open this up to show you. One of the things I always like to talk about is this right here, which is the fact that it has a spot for a trash can. And it's right underneath the sink. And I don't know, you know about, about you watching at home, but for me, that is where I want my trash can. You know, it's at home, it's convenient. I'm sitting here, I'm chopping up my peppers, you know, uh, my broccoli, whatever it may be, and I can just take all the remnants and toss it right in the trash can. It just And I, the bag's not hanging out, right? It's tucked away. If there's something smelly in there, you know, if I had cooked eggs in the morning or chicken breast, right, and the, the remnants are still in there, it's tucked away, not making my camper stink. A uh, little bit over to the side is uh, more prep space right here, but it's also good countertop space if you have like a coffee maker. Assuming, you know, it can fit underneath the microwave, you can put it right here. You'll see the electrical outlet over to the side. You have the herringbone kind of gray subway tile look. Hood up top, the three burner cooktop right down below. And take a look at that. You have a drawer underneath. So if you need a place for pots and pans, that's the spot for it. Bank of three drawers there, plus more storage here right over to the side. Moving over to our fridge, Everchill 12 volt compressor driven refrigerator. Open that up so you can take a look. Plenty of storage in there, cools down nice and quick. A couple of batteries and uh, solar, you can basically run that indefinitely. And it wouldn't be complete without a pantry. So you can take a look right in there, pantry. Beautiful pantry door on here too, I may add. You know, I like the glass inlay. More storage right up top, and again, if you don't want your coffee maker over there, as long as it fits in this space, you might be able to put it here too. Um, electrical outlet, USB ports, more storage underneath there. Now, let's head up front real quick. I do want to make sure we have time to hit the bathroom and bedroom. As for the bathroom, 
when I take a seat right down here, you know, porcelain bowl, as you'd expect, a little bit higher end travel trailer, right? You know, we start moving to the luxury travel trailers, you expect some nicer things like porcelain bowls. You can see the big linen closet, kind of the oil rub bronze fixtures we have in here. For shower height at six foot tall, no issues at all, folks. I could be 6'3", six, 6'4", six, still shower in here without ducking. Mirrored medicine cabinet, you have a little bit of extra countertop space there as well, which I like. And before we go up into the bedroom, folks, I just wanna drop this on you. Remember, this is a luxury travel trailer, the Hemisphere. You can pick this one up starting at under $44,000. That's as low as 10 bucks and 53 cents a day, which is a phenomenal price for everything you're getting in this camper. Uh, and as far as length and weight, folks, this one you're looking at 38 foot, seven inches. Uh, dry weight, it is a little bit heavier. It's a bigger travel trailer. You're looking at 9,063 pounds dry. But let's talk about the bedroom. So you get a slide out bed that really helps open up this bedroom space. Windows on both sides for cross ventilation. Really nice headboard. I like what they did. Uh, it's simple but elegant. I think that was a great choice on their behalf. If you want TV here in the bedroom, there's a spot for it. Uh, you'll find that right here at the foot of the bed. So you have the bank of drawers right up above is that spot for a TV. Another thing I love is the front wardrobe. They kind of put the barn style doors on there. Plus you have, I know this is a big one for some people. I've heard people talk about it before. You have a full length mirror. That is something you normally do not find in most RVs. So if you're looking for something with a full length mirror, this one has it. Take a look in there, Kevin. Show everyone how big that wardrobe space is. You have massive wardrobe up there. And if you want, uh, there's also washer and dryer hookup. And it's also worth noting, this one does have a second AC. So if you're going somewhere a little bit warmer, this will make sure that you stay nice and cool. Let's take a walk up to the front real quick. So as we make our way up here, a couple quick things I wanna hit on the front of this unit. One of them right away is the fact this one does come with a power tongue jack. Uh, behind that, of course, your propane tanks and that beautiful three quarter front cap with the LED inlays. As we come down the side a little ways, you will see here is your front pass-through storage compartment. You know, nice big opening. It does cut in a little bit. So, you know, if you have longer items, you have to be a little bit uh, cognizant of what you're putting in there, but you do have quite a bit of space. Power stabilizer jacks. You just touch a button, the jacks will drop down for you. Bear in mind that's not auto level, but it, uh, the fact that it is power does make it easier when you're setting up or tearing down. Um, and that will make it so your camper's not moving around as you're walking around inside. It's also worth noting that the baggage doors, uh, they, it does have magnetic catch and it's also slam latch. And if you take a look at the awnings, folks, we have not one but two power awnings with LED light strips on both. So almost this entire campsite right here can all be shaded, which is really cool. And another feature I love, speaking of shaded, is this right here, your pet tether. If you have um, you know, a dog, you don't have to worry about bringing a stake or anything and throw it in the grass. You just hook it up right here, you're good to go. And that will be underneath that awning, so they will have that coverage during the day as well. <clears throat> Excuse me, you'll see the speakers light up. Those are controlled by that multimedia center inside. Nice big steps. They have the more ride step above step system with the aluminum treads, the bigger grab handle here as well, uh, making it easier to go in and out of the RV. You can see, especially with this design where it swoops down like this, it gives you that extra control. You know, when you're coming out, you can really kind of lean on it, you know, and which I uh, certainly like. Another big thing I do want to touch on, if you take a look underneath, not only do you have aluminum alloy rims, but it's also a spread axle system. So it'll give you better towability as you're going down the road. You get less chance for sway. And and if you want an outside TV, there is a mount for it. Now again, folks, as I said, this is the Salem Hemisphere 308RL. This one is starting at under 44,000 or 10 bucks and 53 cents a day. If you're interested in this particular unit, text the word RV to 46642. If you liked any of the Salem's that you've seen thus far, you know, maybe not just this one, you're into something else, uh, or maybe you do like this one, but you want a slightly different brand, maybe some different woodwork, that's when you're gonna text the word fresh to 46642 and get access to over 80,000 pieces of inventory we have on order. Demand for RVs is at historic levels, which is why we are working around the clock to bring you over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. That's the largest selection of RVs in the world. Fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. RVs are made by Americans for Americans. And now you can see America for less. Shop over 80,000 factory fresh RVs starting at just $5 a day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today.
this is Bryce, I'm Nellie, and we are The Journeys. We are full-time RVers with our two little girls. We have an almost three-year-old and a seven-month-old. We have done all 50 states in our RV. We moved from a Class A to a fifth wheel and we're going strong. We've partnered with Camping World, Good Sam, and Gander RV during this Ultimate RV Show National Tour to go to 10 different locations throughout the country, show you all that they have to offer, and actually hide geocache treasures throughout this tour. So make sure you follow along with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour and join us as we go across the country on this tour. You know, the Ultimate RV Show National Tour is about the amazing deals that you're going to get. It's also about over $250,000 in giveaways that you're going to get. But we also like to have a little bit of fun. Of course, the Jurgies and the Flippin' Tilbies. Sean Parr going to do a little play-by-play. -play, and we're going to have a contest. We like to do different competitions each week. We do. All right. All right, we so like Bryce, to win. <laughs> explain this competition. You guys are like undefeated right now. Well, no, no, no. Oh, that's true. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. So we've set up, it's kind of a winterizing thing. Yep. It's called winterizing your mate. Yep. Try this at home. <laughs> yes, try this at home. Could be a lot of fun, especially if you're snowed in, uh, like most of us have been for the last several days. But we've got a couple of outfits, and the first one to put their entire outfit on their mate AKA actually the wins. Are you guys, uh, yeah, there you go. Put your masks over your eyes so you can't see, Renee. Nope. Uh, oh, they're, no they're changing yeah. the rules as we go. Know. All right, so here we go. For those of you folks watching at home, you may have to chime in. Uh, you can uh, text the winner, the Jurgies or the Tilbies. Uh, you can text the winner at 46642. Here we go on my whistle. The first one to get the entire outfit on is the winner, unless somebody else says something at home on your mark. Oh, sorry. On your mark, it's on. My whistle's broken. Here we go. All right, here we go. With well, the, the jerkies look pretty good. Oh, well, the different strategies that are happening here. So Bryce throws off his shoes immediately to get the big equipment on, but Renee all of a sudden has got her man Sean completely. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. All right, this could be really, really good. Here comes Renee now. Started with the headgear, now going with the feet. Looking good, Bryce. I don't think anybody will miss you. Here comes your Elmer Fudd shirt. You got it dialed in. And boy, I'll tell you what, talk about soft. There it is. And oh, some problems over here on the left with the Tilbys. Oh, they're already moving on to the jacket. Renee's going to have to move a lot faster. Take a look at the jerkies like they do this at home or in their fifth wheel on a regular basis. Here she comes. Could be problems with the headgear. She's having problems. Oh, look at they're coming from the outside. Here come the Tilbys. But the Jurgies, they've only got a couple left. There it is. We need mittens. We need mittens. Here comes the final. This is going to be very close. The headgear is on. Oh. Wait a minute. You need to get your mittens on. Hold on. I do have to say, I was yelling. I'm like, don't do this. Don't do this. Because we had to rip the tag off. So I was like, don't do it. And you did it. <laughs> we already had it on. Ladies and gentlemen, what you just saw was something that's never been attempted before at an ultimate RV show <laughs> across the country. But in, all, but in all seriousness, yes. we do want to talk about this, the safety that you need when, when winter camping. So, yes, we like to have a good time here, but good warm clothes, dressing in layers. These are all very important things when winter camping. It's, it's important stuff, isn't it? We really did, it did save us. Like we were wearing our car hearts when we were driving across and this is hilarious, but it actually really did help us so much. Wearing layers, wearing the appropriate clothing really does help when you're camp winter camping. Turns out gloves bring happiness when it's really cold outside. Uh, there you go. And what, I what, had gloves, I did if, not have gloves. <laughs> That's why Sean's angry in the cold sometimes. What <laughs> it's also good for is you just saw this wonderful session that we did here is good for exercise and burning calories. And when you're in the cold, you're gonna burn even more calories, and right? And we're like, and then, yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> That's great. All right, let's jump back in. We're looking at these amazing uh, Salem campers, and we've got a forest uh, river right now. Take a look. 
And here we go, folks. This is the 2021 Forest River Salem FSX 178 BHSK. I know it's a mouthful, but really what you're getting is a fairly lightweight and small bunkhouse trailer. So if you're looking for something for the family, you want a great layout, this is a perfect one, folks. This one comes in right around 23 feet and about 3,750 pounds dry is all. So what that means is if you have a tow vehicle where you can tow 5,000 pounds, which I know a lot of people out there do, right? You have that mid-size SUV, you don't want to have to buy a new truck, then this may be one for you, for your family to get out there and start camping and making memories. So let's take a look, folks. We'll start right off right over here on the kitchen. Beautiful countertops is one of the things we see right away. It's not T-mold, right? It's upgraded, and that does a couple things for you. One, less chance of water getting into the countertop. With T-mold, right, you have that mold piece that sticks right here on the edge, and as that starts to peel away, if you get any water on the countertop and it gets down in there, then it starts rotting out your countertop, and that is a bad thing. So by eliminating that, your countertop will last longer, and also, it's nice and lightweight, and it allows you to undermount the bowl, which we can see right here. Big advantage of that, of course, is it makes it a lot easier to keep things clean, and when we put our covers on, we have flush mount covers. So that way, in a small camper like this, you know, if you only, if you don't need to use the sink at all, you have all this prep space, or what I see a lot of people do is this right here. You'll use one side, right? So now I have prep space right here, but I still have an open sink if I have to use it. And you know, if I need to, if I'm not using the burners, I have more prep space over here because it is recessed. If you don't have to use it, or if you don't need it, great. You can just use one side of the sink or whatever, but it gives you that versatility. It gives you the ability uh, to kind of prep food as you need here. And even though it's a smaller countertop, Again, it is very functional. So this two burner cooktop, as I said, it is recessed, folds up and back just like so, kind of doubles the backsplash, which is nice. Um, you know, double burners, nice, simple, easy to use. Flip that on and you will see the knobs light up if you're into that look. Underneath is the drawer. You have to have at least one drawer to make a functional kitchen in an RV so you have a place to put your flatware. Uh, and this one is big enough where you can fit some flatware and then some other utensils too on the side here, like serving spoons, knives, things like that. Direct vent furnace underneath, folks, it's all you're gonna need. And a camper this size, again, it's 23 foot long. That thing will do a perfect job of keeping everything nice and toasty, especially uh, up here up front because you know that's where you'll be sleeping and it will uh, keep your feet nice and toasty at night. Underneath the sink, I just wanna show you, you get some storage there as well. And of course, some storage up top. Now, they went with like a frosted glass up top. I think that was a good choice. Um, you know, even though I, I love the lighter wood, uh, I think that the, the uh, frosted glass there just helped break up that wood look a little bit. Microwave over to the side, and because you, know, you have a two burner cooktop, it's gonna be a slimline hood, right? Not nearly as wide, but uh, still exactly where you want it. That does have both a light and a fan. Um, you'll also, speaking of fans, you'll also see there's a fan right up top here. So if you need to, you know, just kind of move some air around, or if you're cooking bacon or something, you know, you wanna just get the smell out, you can open that vent up and turn the air on. But one of the cooler things in this unit is this right here, the fact that it comes with a roof mount AC. A lot of times in a camper this size, you'll get, um, you know, like a side mount. The fact it has a roof mount, I mean, that's, you know, 13,500 BTUs, folks, that's gonna cool this thing down in a flash. Right next to that, as we start making our way to the back here, is the Everchill 12-volt compressor-driven refrigerator. Great thing about a 12-volt, uh, you know, is the, a couple different things. If you, know, if you haven't seen my videos before, I'll, I'll enlighten you real quick. Um, the nice thing about a 12-volt is the fact it cools down, or the compressor-driven is that it cools down much quicker, so you don't have to put things in overnight. For the 12-volt itself, so that's going to run off your battery power. Now, keep in mind that, you know, if you have shore power or if you have um, a generator, right, that's going to keep your battery topped off. You'll be good. So it'll just, again, you'll have no issues there. But if you plan on boondocking, if you're going somewhere you don't have power and you're not using a generator, you, uh, the great thing about these is that it's a low power consumption. So what you can do is get yourself two batteries and then uh, a little bit of solar, and essentially you can run these almost nonstop, uh, almost indefinitely, which is pretty great. And again, I mean, it, you know, you can put your hand in there. It's already cooling down. It, you know, you don't have to put all of your stuff in there overnight like you do with your standard propane electric fridge. Plus, it, it, for the space given, you get more cold storage. I mean, if you take a look in there, right, you can see how much space you get in there. You know, open the freezer up. Like, this is much larger than your propane electric units because you don't need as many components in the back. So you get a deeper fridge, you get more cubic feet of cold storage space. Now, right back in the corner, this of course is gonna be, you know, the, the main uh, feature here in this RV, and that is our bunks. Now, uh, 
up front they are double wide, but you know, you can see right here there is a little bit of a, a cutback for these ones. So, um, you know, as long as you're on the one side, you, you know, you, can, you have a little more length on this side over here, it is a little bit shorter. Very common for rear bunks. There will be different angles. This one's cut a little bit harder than some, but for kiddos, I mean, it'll be absolutely perfect. You also see USB ports in both the top and bottom bunks. And I personally like that because I know we all go camping to get away from electronics, but they can be right up here, plug in their cell phone, plug in their tablet, and they have their own little space, right? In a, in a camper like this, a 23 foot camper, you don't have, you know, a ton of room to move around. I mean, this one is fairly open thanks to the, the big slide out dinette here. Um, but you know, you still are going to want somewhere for the kiddos to have their own space. And that's exactly what they get. Windows all the way around there too, to help let in some natural light. And one of the things I like is that it's completely open on the bottom. And why do I like that? Well, this is a big storage space. So if you have um, like a laundry basket is what I you know like to use. You can put that right underneath there because if you think about it, you know we're looking at this in a smaller floor plan like this one. You don't get a lot of storage space for kids' clothes, right? We have a wardrobe up front for yours, a little bit of storage up top. But if you take a look around, you know we have a bathroom here. We just don't have any other place to put the kids' clothes. So that is what you want to put under there. And, and you can have two laundry baskets, right? You can have a or, or maybe a duffel bag or whatever. But one for clean clothes, one for dirty clothes. It's all out of the way. What I would recommend right is maybe just getting like a small little curtain or something so you can close that off um, so that it, it's tucked away but it still gives you that big opening so that you can fit those la uh, larger baskets and stuff underneath there and, and folks you know small little things like that right things that especially if you're new to RVing which you know if you're looking at this floor plan is very possible um, things like uh, places to put kids clothes and bunk models that may not be something you thought about maybe like you know maybe I said it and you're like oh my it Ian's absolutely right. Where do I put the kids' clothes? But here's the cool thing, folks, is we've been in, the, you know, a lot of us have been in the industry for a long time. We know these things. Lean on us. Let us help you. All you have to do is text the word FRESH to 46642 or put it in the comment section below. And one of our experts will reach out to you and, you know, see what you're interested in, kind of work through to make sure that you're not missing anything so we can find the perfect RV for you. And folks, just so you know, we have over 80,000 factory fresh units on order coming from the manufacturer. So no matter what you're looking for, I can darn near guarantee that if it's be, if it's made, if it's available out in the industry, we can probably get it for you. Come on back into the bathroom real quick. Just want to show you a few things in here. So as far as space, right? I, I always like to sit on toilet, stand in the shower, just to kind of show you the space you're working with. And to give you a frame of reference, I'm uh, six foot and a little over 200 pounds. And, and I, I can make this work. Um, you know, right here, I like to call this the built-in squatty potty. You have some plumbing running through there, which is why they covered it. And I'm glad they did. I'd rather see that than PEX lines. Um, but you would, you know, uh, this is probably how I'd do it, right? The, the built-in squatty potty. Just throw your feet right up there. I, I hear it's a better position for making things move. I don't know. But either way, um, you know, I have plenty of shoulder space. If I put the legs up there, my leg room is good too. Decent sized countertop right over here, you know, a little bit of space on either side. And again, it is an upgraded countertop. Even though they didn't undermount the bowl, you still have that nice countertop. Some storage there underneath as well as a mirrored medicine cabinet right up top. And if I take a step in the shower, this is another big one, folks. When we're talking about, you know, mid-sized to smaller travel trailers, a lot of times if you're six foot tall, you can't stand all the way up. And right in here, I can. Now, you know, it's not a skylight, it's a vent up top, so it doesn't give me much more room. So if you're, you know, 6'1", 6'2", you probably will have to duck. But at six foot tall, I can stand in here, no problem. And that vent right above the shower, of course, will uh, help your shower dry out when you're done. You can flip that on, get some of that humidity out of there. Let's take a look at the slide out. Uh, I have to hit this and then the front real quick before we head out. But great thing about a slide out is this has a big U-shaped dinette. And with a family, you know, this gives you enough room for four people to comfortably sit around. Big square table for planned games. Great for puzzles as well. Even if you have a round puzzle, you know, you can probably still do it on this table. And it drops down into a bed. So, you know, if you have other guests that are coming, you have a place for them to sleep because you can sleep two adults on here when it's dropped down. Storage. You have uh, just these doors that swing open. And honestly, because the slide is raised a little bit, it does make these a little bit easier to get into. Normally, it's all the way down on the floor if you have a flush floor slide. But right here, it is just a little bit easier to, to get some of those items that are nice and close. Now, I do want to hit on front because this is generally a make it or break it for a lot of people. And that's the fact this one has a Murphy bed. Now, I personally really like it. Why? Because it gives you a sofa in a floor plan you normally wouldn't be able to have one. Something 23 foot like this, without a Murphy bed, the only seating space you would have would be the U-shaped dinette. But with this, I have the extra seating. 
Now, to make this into a bed, I'll show you real quick. It's fairly simple. You're just gonna take the cushions off. Um, whoop, that actually can stay. This right here is just, you're just gonna pull that out. Make sure I'm not gonna hit that. This drops down, and then you have your mattress. Pull that out, boop, and there we go. Something like that, right? So then, you know, you'll, you'll sleep kind of head to toe, um, you know, left to right instead of uh, north to south. Now, as far as Murphy beds go, um, you know, I, I, it's not the easiest one to set up because it does have a split in the middle. There are some Murphy beds that just fold straight down. Uh, this one does look a little bit better than some of the others. It, it, there's a big difference, or a lot of variety, I should say, when it comes to Murphy beds. So again, if you need help, make sure you text that word FRESH to 46642. It also comes with a Bluetooth speaker, which is wonderful because you can take that outside. You have storage all the way around. And speaking of outside, let's go take a quick look out there before we wrap up. So as we move out, you see the uh, couple things I want to point out. One, solar prep. We talked about that 12 volt fridge. If you plan on running this without uh, shore power, it's a good idea to get solar. Now what you'll notice is that right here there's not storage, but I'll show you where the storage is in just a moment. Before we do, I want to point out the fact it has a power awning and an LED light strip, as well as an outside kitchen with a griddle cooktop, folks. You can cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner on that thing, and it has a fridge built in. But come around to the side with me real quick. I want to make sure we're able to see where the storage is. I don't want you to think you don't have outside storage. You absolutely do. Right here underneath the bed, nice big storage goes all the way in there. And again, folks, this is just one of many when we talk about the Salem lineup. You know, we have the regular Salem, we have the FSX, we have the Hemisphere, we have the uh, Hemisphere Elite. If you're going up into fifth wheels, it's just a huge whole lineup. There's a ton of stuff to absolutely love about it. If you want to get your hands on one of, of, on one of over 80,000 factory fresh units, simply text the word uh, FRESH to 46642. With the Camping World Best Price Guarantee, we'll beat any competitor price by $500 guarantee or write you a check for $1,000. I will never lose a deal over price, ever, and I guarantee it. Learn more today at CampingWorld.com. Well, the Jerkies didn't win that last competition, but they want to make you Listen. a winner right now. I'm sorry, is it too soon? Listen, <laughs> the rules, you know, are a little, I don't know, okay? Now, I don't make up the rules of these competitions, by the way. I think we got to make do. them up as we go, really. Yeah, they're so. fun. It's all about having fun. It's also about bringing you the best deals possible, and we talked about Ultimate Giveaways when we kicked it off, Bryce. Yeah, and that is one of my favorite parts, which is what we're doing right now. We're giving away... This 49cc scooter, guys, this is so beautiful. We've talked about this in other shows, but with a 49cc, you don't have to get a motorcycle endorsement. This can take you whipping through RV parks at safe speeds. Can take you around. <laughs> it's, it's fun to ride. This is a good one. Well, and it's like saying, here's $1,000, exactly. because that's what this is worth yeah. right now. Unless, of course, you're a good Sam member, going to get it for less. Yep. Just throwing less, that right? out there. We were talking about that earlier. Er, and if uh, you're earlier, registered, right? you're going to get it for free if you're the winner. That's right. And how do you register? You got to text U R B S <laughs> to 46642. Four, six, four, two. So right. text that U R B S. Nelly four, six, six, four, is going to be the winner. All right. I'm going to be the winner. Give away the winner. Okay. Sorry. I was yes. like, all right. <laughs> yeah. And that's it, folks. <laughs> yeah. And the winner is Colleen Wessling. Congratulations. Woo. Well, there you I'm go. I'm jealous of you. Colleen Wessling, you just got yourself a Coleman 49cc Power Sports uh, scooter. Have a great time with this. Enjoy mm -hmm. it. Run it around the neighborhood. Show all your friends. The yeah. biggest Tag deals us when you do. in your camping world or Gander RV and Outdoor is right here on the uh, Power Motorsports from Coleman. Right now, we're going to jump on into the Forest River Salem Cruise LTE. Ian, take it away. With the ability to sleep seven, a little under 33 feet, and coming in under 6,200 pounds, folks, we have the 2021 Salem Cruise Light 282 QBXL. This is an awesome quad bunk model. You have four beds in the back, nice big wardrobe back there. Super slide helping to open up this main living space. And this one has the Versa Lounge, which we'll hit on in just a second, giving it some excellent versatility in a travel trailer a lot of times you won't find. Let's start off on the kitchen. You'll see you have an L-shaped countertop, upgraded countertop there as well, which allows you to undermount the bowl as they have certainly done, because why 
wouldn't you, if you have the ability to do so. You'll also see it comes with a drying rack, so if you just want to put that kind of over one bowl like this, you can still have the other one open, giving you some extra um, prep space while still being able to utilize the faucet. You also see right here you have good prep space, and I always like when you have something permanent. While, yes, you can use, you know, the, the top right here, you can use the cooktop, I would much rather have just open countertop space, which they do give you. Uh, the backsplash, one of the things you will see is they have a large window stretching the whole way there, just letting in a ton of natural light. And they did, you know, they do have a little bit of extra backsplash around too, so that way it has a little nicer visual uh, piece to it. But I really do like that window, and the window also, uh, as you can see, does open, which can be important because as you're cooking right here, if you want to get smells out, that's probably one of the easiest ways to do it. Electrical outlet right up front, if you want to plug anything in there, you see the decorative glass here right up top, a little bit darker woodwork, but they accent, the, or, you know, kind of accent that with the lighter countertops, the lighter flooring. You can see kind of the hairy bone style flooring they use in here which is beautiful uh, and you know the slide fascias you will notice are two-tone plus they have lights in the uh, right there in the behind the fascia to help kind of just brighten things up overall back to the kitchen though you will see the microwave as well as the hood uh, the three burner cooktop as I mentioned is recessed the glass cover that folds up and back just like so and then oven underneath if you want to do some baking plus you have two drawers here which as I always say you have to have at least one drawer to make a decent kitchen in an RV this one has two you will also notice that it has enough space for a trash can that's always a big one for me because I don't want my trash bags hanging out so I love that that is there. The Everchill 12 volt compressor driven refrigerator. Take a look at that, nice and big. Uh, you get more cubic feet than you do in your standard propane electric, even though it's still basically the same size box. Uh, but because it is compressor driven, it also cools down much quicker. And again, that runs off 12 volt, will feed off your batteries. You get a couple batteries and some solar and you can run that thing darn near indefinitely. Making our way back, let's take a look at the bathroom. It's always one of those features where you know, you got to make sure you're going to fit, right? You know, whatever you're doing, you're going to make, got to make sure it's good. And here we are. I got good leg space, good shoulder space, you know, a little cut out there in the countertop, but it still maintains a uh, large countertop. So if you need to set down a hairdryer, curling iron, you have space. Plus you have a cutout right underneath that. So, you know, if you want, you can put toilet paper there, maybe some spray, you know, uh, whatever else you need. Just quick, easy access. Right up above the sink is your mirrored medicine cabinet. You know, and I do like the, the wood surround on there as well. It's got a good look. Stepping into the shower, let's talk about shower height. So it's six foot tall, as you can see. I can stand up in here without having to duck down. Now I am pretty much maxing it out, uh, but with that skylight, you can be a little bit taller, maybe six one if you stand under the skylight. Any taller than that though, you'll have, you will have to duck down there. We'll get to the, uh, the Versa Lounge in just a moment. Before we do, I want to come on back into the bunk room because, again, that is one of the main features here. You have quad bunks, so, uh, you know, plenty of space. If you have a big family, if you have a lot of guests that are coming to stay, you have a lot of room. USB ports in the bunk, so if you need to plug in any electronics, you can charge phones and everything there. Um, and, you know, and if the kids grow up, let's say, you get this when they're older teenagers. They grow up, they move on. Not a problem. This is perfect for an adult getaway too. Maybe you know, you're know you going on a fishing trip. Maybe you're going on a wine tour, whatever it may be. You have a ton of sleeping right back here. Uh, you know, It's kind of like a mobile quarters. Even if you have it parked on the side of your house and you have a big event, you know, maybe your kids are going to graduate soon. You need a place for the you know some of the guests to sleep. Well, you got four beds right back here, which is awesome. Also in the back is a wardrobe. You gotta have a place to hang clothes, right? That's one of those things a lot of times in bunk houses are missing, but you'll see the hanging rod there so you have a, a good spot to be able to have uh, a lot of those clothes, which I said, you know, sometimes uh, with bunk models, we just end up missing that. Now behind the door, I do wanna show you have a little bit of extra storage there that we can see. So, you know, good storage both up and down. You kind of have the designer pulls on there, which I like. I, I prefer pulls over having knobs personally. Maybe it's just me, uh, but it's just easier, it seems, to grab them and open them up. Then we take a look at the slide out itself. This, of course, is a super slide. Nice big windows, beautiful roller shades, you know, kind of that, that nice uh, pattern that's on there. It's not a beige, it's not black, kind of somewhere in between, which I like. Blends in very well with the furniture here as well. And then this is the Versa Lounge. Now, <clears throat> the Versa Lounge is a little bit different uh, because, it, again, kind of like the name implies, it is very versatile. You'll see right here, you have a U-shaped dinette and a jackknife sofa. Pretty common setup for a super slide, but what you can do, 
<clears throat> this back cushion actually pulls out, you can flip this around and put it right here. And now you have a chase lounge, right? This chase part with the sofa. So you have a sofa and a chase instead of a, a, do, a dinette. And you kind of have like an L for the table space. Um, but, but that's nice because again, it does give you that versatility based on what your needs are. Also, it drops down into a large bed. You know, you can take the table out, drop this down here. You have all this sleeping space plus, you know, the trifold or not trifold. I'm sorry, the jackknife drops down just like that. So you have this just huge sleeping space all the way through here, which is pretty great. Another thing I like that they do is storage underneath. So if we take a look here, we'll drop this guy down. There we go. Take a look at that. They give you three bins. You don't have to go out and hunt for them. You don't have to find, you know, figure out the dimensions, the size, is it gonna fit, is it not? You're all set. They give you three of them right there, good to go. It's magnetic, nice and easy to put up and down. And you'll see they have the same style thing on the dinette here as well. So if I open this up, boom, there it is. Same thing, you have that in both sides. And I really like that just because it does make it a lot easier for storage capability, you know? Rather than just throwing a bunch of stuff in there and having a mess, you have these totes, as I said, they're already pre-sized, easy to, to pull out and put back in. For entertainment center, I like where manufacturers do this too. They don't frame it out. What I mean by that is, you know, they don't have like a, like a some manufacturers, right, would put like extra little storage right here. And all that does for me is limit the size of my TV, right? I mean, you are somewhat limited by the size of the, uh, where the uh, ceiling is here, but you can still fit a big TV. You can probably get a 50 inch there, I bet. Um, and you know, and even if you don't, you still have the nice looking ship lap. It's not super, you know, it's not terrible looking, right? You can put like a picture here, have some d uh, decor there, still have a nice looking piece without having to have uh, use a TV. But if you want it, you can put a big one there. You also see entertainment center right down underneath. This one does have HDMI input, fireplace below that, and a little spot for shoes. So if you wanna come in, kick your shoes off, you can toss them right under there, which is kinda cool. And then a little bit of storage on both sides. So we make our way up into the bedroom real quick here. And come on up, show you what we got. I'll step over to the side here for you, Kev. So as you can take a look on both sides, you have mirrored wardrobes that you have a place to hang your clothes. You have the shelf going across the top there. But as you can see, as, as Kevin's showing you in the wardrobe itself, you have an electrical outlet. And the purpose of that is if you can kind of see over on the sides, we have uh, a little cubby hole. So that way you can put a CPAP machine in there and then you can have all of your, um, your hoses and everything coming through. And so it's out of the way, right? It's tucked away. You still have a nightstand. It's not taking up your whole nightstand. Um, and so I think that was a pretty clever thing to do. I think that was a good way to do it. You also see USB ports there in case you need to plug in cell phone or anything else if you need to charge. And underneath the bed, let me lift this up here. You can see right in there, you have some extra storage. So these are cool, right? Again, bins, you can just pull them right out. You don't have to lift the bed to access those, but when you do lift the bed, you will see that you get shared access with that pass-through storage space. So, uh, you know, a couple, a couple different access points to be able to get to whatever you put in there. Now, as we take a step outside, see a couple different features here, which are pretty great. The first one being your steps. You'll see you have the upgraded steps. Um, you know, nice thing about these, they're easy to put away, easy to fold out, adjustable feet, aluminum treads on there, so it's not gonna rust, grip tape, so you have good traction when entering or exiting the RV. Coming around to the front, power tongue jack, of course, making life a little bit easier when you're connecting or disconnecting from your RV. You'll see the diamond plate helping to protect that front end. And then you'll have the smooth aluminum front here as well, which is going to not only look nicer, but also be easier to clean. You know, as you're driving down the road, all those bugs are gonna get smashed on the front. You want it to be as easy to clean as possible, and this will certainly do that. Coming around to the side, solar prep. If you want solar, all you have to do is buy portable panels, plug it in right there. That will trickle charge your battery. And if we take a look here, you can see that pass through storage. And again, folks, this is that same access we saw from underneath the bed. So you have a few different places at which you can get to those items. Power awning right here with an LED light strip. You'll also see the speakers are backlit, you know, just a nice little extra aesthetic piece. Making our way back a little bit further here, if you want TV, you will have TV hookup and you get an outside kitchen, which I absolutely love. It's one of the things that I really uh, enjoy about having a bunk model is a lot of times it gives you the ability to have this. You have a pull-out griddle, 
a fridge right there so you can have some you know juice soda whatever else you want out here and if you take a look underneath oh, that's a little dirty we need to wash it off but you will see the uh, JT strong arm so what these do is when your stabilizer jacks drop down right now these will help form a triangle from the jack back up to the frame so it'll help stabilize that even more so that really makes it so the RV isn't rocking when you're inside but folks Again, this is just one of many Salem's that we have, right? The Forest River Salem Cruise Light 282 QBXL. This is a quad bunk. Folks, you can pick this one up starting at under $29,000 or as little as $7.17 a day. If you're interested in this one, simply text the word RV to 46642 or drop RV in the comments section below. And folks, whether it's this Salem or another Salem or any other RV that you've seen or you know, even if you didn't see one today, let's say you're working with the dealership and you think you have the best deal possible, we'll put it to the test. If you text the word DEAL, D-E-A-L, to that 46642, we guarantee we can get you a better deal on an apples for apples unit or we'll give you a thousand bucks in your pocket folks that's basically paying for your first trip and everything you need for your rv so put us to the test we'll make sure we get you the best deal out there and if you're still in the beginning stages and you want some more help no problem text that word fresh to 46642 and we will help walk you through and show you all the different options available whether it's rear bath front bath uh, quad bunk whatever it may be we're here for you so one of our secrets about traveling full-time with kids is that you want to meet other families on the road. It makes it so much more fun when your kids have friends and you have friends. When we came into this RV, we knew we wanted to do a few renovations to make it feel more like home. So one of the first things we started with was this slide-out area. We wanted to take out the couch that was here and replace it with a couch that was more functional for our family. We are Crazy Family Adventure! And we are bringing you RV Pro Tips. Sooner or later, everyone's bound to encounter someone in need. A fellow traveler who could use a helping hand. The question always is whether you stop to help or just move on. Thanks for stopping. If you're one of the stopping kind, chances are it was passed down. Some good that you observed from early on. Hey, Mom. It's a way of thinking that our world goes beyond where our driveway ends, that we're all a part of this community, a good community. It's having your daily plans, yes, but with an eye open, an ear to the ground. More importantly, a willingness to change those plans when someone needs your help. going the extra mile or paying it forward. We just call it being good. Spend a lifetime doing good because the next generation is watching. Let's talk a little bit about versatility, right? When we talk about Salem, we have the Versa Lounge, something that's been around for a year or two now and something that a lot of people have seen. And if not, well, we're going to take a look here. But today we also get to talk about the Versa Bunk System, which I personally think is really cool. It did a great job. Um, you know, it does give you a lot of versatility based upon what you want to do. And we'll take a look at that in just a second. But folks, this right here is a 2021 Forest River Salem 29VBUD. This one comes in a little under 36 and a half foot and a little over 7,700 pounds dry. So let's start off right here actually on the Versa Lounge, right? Let, let's talk a little bit about it. So you will see the big super slide. And with the Versa Lounge, it's called the Versa Lounge because of utility, the versatility that you get. So as I said, this one can basically do a couple different things. One is it can be a uh, jackknife style sofa in a U-shaped dinette. That is one arrangement we can have. The other, or another, is what we have right here where 
you get, you know, a little chase lounge right here on the side. So if you want to talk about, you know, kicking back and relaxing, you have the chase lounge, you still have a big sofa, then you kind of have a little more of an L rather than a U shape here at the dinette. So you still have excellent seating, but one of the seats is just a little more comfortable. The other cool thing is you can drop this guy down into a bed, right? You want to talk about big sleeping space. I mean, you got this right here. Boom, just like that. Now you have nice big sleeping space here as well. So it really does give you a lot of versatility. Uh, I think they did a pretty decent job on it. I've seen some others that uh, have tried to do something similar. Um, and, and I think this, this one probably is a little bit better, in my personal opinion. Uh, everyone obviously is a little bit different. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, if you want to see some different options for convertible furniture, folks, text the word FRESH to 46642. We'll be able to walk you through and show you some of the different options, availability that are out, out there with different manufacturers. And again, then you can kind of weigh the pros and the cons and see what's good for you. If we take a look underneath the sofa, another thing I like that you'll notice is they give you bins. And I love having these just because they're already pre-sized. You don't have to measure anything out. And it just makes life a lot more organized, a lot easier uh, to get to any of your items underneath. And not only are they underneath the sofa part, but as we come over here, you'll see they also have them under both sides of the dinette. So great use of storage space, very easy to get to. Now, before we leave this section, the other thing I do want to talk about is the windows. You have big windows in this slide out, folks. You have great visibility here, lets in a ton of natural light. You have the upgraded roller shades there as well. Uh, so, you know, those work very, you know, uh, fantastically. You don't have to worry about you know, tension blinds or anything like that, which if you used them before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It can be a fight, uh, which for the record, if you ever need to know how to adjust the, those tensioners, we do have videos out there uh, to, to help you out to make sure that your blinds are holding when they need to and you can pull them down appropriately. Uh, but I digress. Let's move in a little bit further. We get into the kitchen here. So L-shaped kitchen countertop. You'll see the upgraded countertop right there. Uh, the cool thing about this is it allows for an undermount sink, right, which is exactly what we have. So you can see the, the undermount bowl so that way you can just sweep anything right into it. You don't have the lip or anything in the sink that's going to collect dirt. Mm. Sorry, thirsty. As we keep taking a look in a little bit further, you'll see electrical outlet right there on the wall. Double electrical outlet. So you can plug in, I mean, darn near anything in here, right? If you want a, a blender, an electric griddle, a coffee maker, to charge a cell phone, you can do it all right there with one single outlet. Nice big window here. Not only does that, again, let in natural light, it gives you a great view out to your campsite. You will see the backsplash, nice and decorative. Recessed three burner cooktop with a glass cover for prep space. That's just gonna fold up and back like so, opening up that front cooktop, which is high output and you'll see the oven underneath. We take a look underneath the countertop itself. Look at that, boy oh boy. If you were looking at this and you were thinking, Ian, where are the drawers? Don't you worry, we have them. Not one, not two, but three full extension ball bearing drawers with fully finished faces there as well. Uh, it's just tucked away. I think they did a pretty good job and they still have plenty of room for a trash can, which if you know me, you'll know is a pretty big deal in my book. Right up top, you'll see here the decorative glass. Open that guy up, you know, pretty decent storage there. Microwave, hood, got everything you'd expect. The Everchill 12 volt refrigerator. They use these in pretty much uh, the entire Salem lineup. So, um, you know, if you, if you like the 12 volt, right, where it runs off the batteries, then you're gonna love the Salem line with the Everchill here. Again, you have a couple batteries and some solar and you can run that bad puppy for quite some time. You also see a pantry here. So. You know, you gotta love having a pantry, especially when you have a, a bunk model. Chances are you're gonna have a lot of people, which means you're probably gonna have a lot of food. You need places to put it. So the 12 volt refrigerator is a little bit bigger than your standard uh, propane and electric. Plus you get that extra pantry storage right over here to the side. So good cold storage, good dry storage. When I step back into the bunk room, folks, this is really where things start to get interesting. Now, you'll notice a couple things. One is how big the entryway is. So if you have bigger items back here, it makes it very easy to load. And with that, you will see this. This I love. I love, love, love when manufacturers put these in. Why? Because it makes loading your RV a breeze. You can load a bunch of stuff in here and with this size, I mean, you're looking at not only totes, but you know, if you have extra tents you wanna throw in here, if you have bikes, you know, if you have uh, just some of those larger items, a lot of times you don't have space for, you can fit it right back here and this door makes it easy to get in and out. Now this is what we call the Versa bunk. And what you'll notice is the way it's currently set up right now, I essentially have a sofa right here and two bunks that are, are right up top, right? Uh, but the cool thing about this, take a look here. We have a handle. We're just gonna flip this guy right out and down, just like so. That's gonna be our base. 
take the bed just like that. And now take a look at this folks at six foot tall. I'm going to lay on my side here, but at six foot tall, I can sit on here. No problem. I get an actual mattress over like, you know, like one of the teddy bear bunks. And so I'm going to get a lot better night's sleep. And the thing I love about this is you can fold this out. And if you want, you know, to sleep two adults here, you can do that We're right here in the bunk, which is great. And if you don't, you fold it right back up. Super simple. If you have older kids, you know, or maybe they're, maybe they're, you just have big children. Maybe your children are, you know, six, two. Well, you get a bigger bed here than you normally would. So, um, you know, I, I, again, I just love having the, the extra size here over a lot of times what you'll find in a bunk room. Now let's see if we can drop these ones down. So, and you can leave these up if you want, right? So, you know, you're not going to hit your head or if you still want the bunks, boom, you drop that guy down, boom, you drop this guy down. Now take a look at that. You have two more bunk beds right back here. So, you know, you can sleep four people back here. No problem. Open that up once again. They are the masters of the totes. I tell you what, um, you know, make Martha Stewart happy, right? Everything has its place, something like that. So you see good storage right there. A couple USB ports. You have cell phones or anything like that. That's where you charge them up at. So that's a really cool bunk room. You know, when, when we talk about bunk rooms, uh, you know, we talk about quad bunks, um, there's going to be quite a bit of difference. We have a setup like this. It's another Salem, you know, where we have two beds on each side. Um, we can have other bunks where you have two bunks below, two bunks on top making L's. You know, the, again, there's a lot of different setups. We can get slide rooms and bunk models. So no matter what you're looking for, right? The, again, there's a lot of stuff out there. Let us help you out, folks. Just text that word FRESH to 46642 or drop FRESH in the comment section below. And that will have one of our specialists reach out to you and make sure we can help you out, help you navigate, work your way through some of these different bunk models because again there are so many different setups and we're going to make sure we find one that's going to be perfect for you and at a perfect price right because that, that's that's half the battle a you have to make sure you have a floor plan that's going to fit b you have to make sure you have an rv that you can spend time in that you like the way it looks you like the flow and c you have to make sure it's going to fit the budget and we have rvs for every budget every lifestyle this one right here this 29 vbud Folks, for the show, this one is starting under $32,000, and that means you can pick it up for about $7.66 a day, which is pretty fantastic. And, and if this is the one for you, if you're like, yes, I love the Versa Lounge, I love the Versa Bunk, I have to have it, then text that word RV to 46642, and that's going to fast track you so we know that, yep, this is the one that you want, and we can get you all set up. Another thing I love about this floor plan, folks, as soon as you walk in, take a look at that. You have coat hangers. Take off your jacket. Boom. You have a spot to put it. You come around the corner, toss your shoes right there underneath the fireplace. Those are out of the way as well. So I, I like that they did a couple things there. Um, you kind of have your shiplap wall board. This is where your TV will go for your main living area. I personally would put a swing arm mount in so you can swing it around, right? Just because the angle, if you're sitting, you know, on the lounge, you can see it pretty well. But if you're sitting over in the dinette side, you want a little bit uh, better angle to be able to see it there. But definitely something that's very doable. You'll see the sound bar underneath, a couple different zones, one for being in here, the other one for the zone outside. Fireplace there as well, which, you know, folks, as I always say, not only looks great, but more importantly, at least in my book, is the fact that that is a space heater. Now we come into the bathroom and you're probably thinking, man, it's gotta be tiny, and you'd be wrong. We take a seat right here, look at this, folks. Nice, big, uh, big space. I mean, you can, you know, see I have plenty of leg room, good shoulder space here kind of tucked away and you can't probably see it, but you can see the door at least. There is a little storage area right there, which is nice. Uh, kind of, uh, it's about the same size as like medicine cabinet for shelving, right? A little bit deeper, but you have double doors there. So it's nice and big. You can see your sink top, you know, kind of a, a pretty sink top. They even put a nice little pretty backsplash wall board in, electrical outlet for the shower, neo angle. Take a look at the height. You know, I have no problem here, folks. Six foot tall, especially with that skylight. Again, it could be six three, six four. Be, be good to go. The doors are on a roller tracks. So that way, the water can run right down the doors and into the shower pan when you open the doors up. Right. A lot of times, a little bit different if you have a curtain. You'll open the curtain up, and all of a sudden, the water's all over the floor. Nobody wants that. Then we take a look at the bedroom itself. You know, you'll start to see a little bit of a trend if you've seen some other Salem's, right? You have mirrored wardrobe on the sides, glass across the top, cubby hole right here, electrical outlet in there, and that, of course, is built for your CPAP machine so your hoses can run through. But you can put whatever you want in there. If you want to put a tablet in there to charge, great, go for it. It's your RV, it's your life. You do your thing. Making our way outside here. 
Take a look at the upgraded step. So you can see you have the solid steps by LCI, which just as the name implies, they're exactly that, nice and solid. Made over 200 pounds, you can see I can walk up and down them, they don't flex. Adjustable feet, so you can adjust it to the campsite and a nice big grab handle right here. I wanna show you a couple things on the front. First one being your big pass-through storage, you can see that right there. Solar prep here as well, so you can just plug in your portable panels, that'll trickle charge your battery. Big power awning with LED lights. Outside speakers and TV hookup out here for outside entertainment, plus you have the outside kitchen. So you'll see the fridge as well as a pull-out griddle. So whether you wanna cook some eggs on there, some pancakes, or if you're frying up some stir fry, that one right there will do it all, folks. And this is just one of so many Salem's that we have available. We have over 20,000 pieces in stock, over 80,000 on order. All you have to do to get your hands on one is text the word FRESH to 46642 or drop FRESH in the comments section below. We'll get with you and make sure we find the perfect RV for you and your needs. Thank you so much, Ian. And that does it, uh, Nelly, for the Salem Travel Trailers. Now, here's a cool thing. We go yeah. from the Salem's, and you saw some beautiful models. You did, when we they did. come right from the factory like that, the new for 2021s. We've seen so many new designs. Yes. And now we're going to get into the Take the Whole RV Family RVs. And some of these units, I mean, we're talking bunk houses and plenty of space, which you know all about. Oh, we love, we love plenty of space, especially with kids. And these. This next segment we're going to has a beautiful bunkhouse area. A lot of them are very similar. This one's a little bit different. And there's actually, I think, I think one of the bunk, you know, bunks go up and then it goes yep. down. So you can provide room or you can provide bedrooms. You know, it's just the one do thing I've work. noticed uh, when we look at the 2021s this year, especially on this tour, is the kitchens and the mm -hmm. entertainment centers and the the de the delicate touches that they put to all the backsplashes and all the different uh, different fine amenities yep. that you're seeing in several different types of units. But when you talk about space and we talk about sleep six or sleep yeah. eight and has the bunkhouses, we're going to get into these. Oh, yeah. This is like a perfect house or trailer for my grandparents. Yeah. And uh, matter of fact, we're going to let Ian take a minute. We've got Chris ready to go. Chris has got the Forest River Solaire 317 BHSK. Chris, take it away, buddy. We can't wait to see these. If you've been looking to take your entire RV family to go see America the safest way possible, we got you covered with this segment. Kicking it off right with a 35 foot, one inch, 7,100 pound dry weight, 10 sleeping gorgeous RV known as the Forest River Solaire 317 BHSK. Since 1968, Palomino has been making these Solaires and they started off by a guy who made tents for a living but decided he wanted to give people an upgraded camping experience, hence the birth of the Palomino. And these Solaires are packed full of features and beauty that's gonna be hard to find in other campers. What's great about this one, starts at $38,995 or as low as $9.34 a day for you to sleep yourself and nine friends, family members, because sure, this segment is all about taking your whole RV family camping. Whether you need bunk rooms, double bunks, you know, quads over quads, singles over singles, this is all about giving you the room and space to just reconnect with those loved ones, those friends, those family members in your RV without having to worry about buying hotels, going on plane rides, sitting next to somebody you don't know, or going into a room that's not yours. Because this RV will be yours. With over 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming too, we'll have something that you absolutely will like for your pocket and for your lifestyle. Let's start right back here in the bunk room of this 317 BHSK. Over here, we got ourselves a 34 inch top bunk that's over top of the entertainment center um, and solid wood construction. You're gonna see the attention to detail. I wish you could see this. And actually you can if you come into any Camping World of Gander. We got over 160 locations. So just come in and feel this. Beveled wood, very decorative, brushed nickel fixtures, hideaway hinges, signs of quality construction, which you're gonna get with the Solaires. Plenty of storage space, solid wood, entertainment center right here with your cable and your power. And you'll notice how the heat is ducted inside the cabinetry. They do that so that it's not under the floor. If you do have ducts in the floor, sometimes you get those soft spots, which are a pain in the butt to fix and extremely expensive. So Forest River put it in the cabinetry so that you don't have to worry about it. And with a 15,000 BTU AC, which we're gonna see in the living area and a 30,000 BTU furnace, you'll do a good job of keeping the temperature where you want it. Now, over here on the off camp side, we have a 38 by 72 
uh, bunks, or excuse me, 38 by 72 is this one over here. These are 34 inch bunks. So a little bit smaller, but still can easily sleep an adult or the kids if you need to. Just pull this out, take it down, and boom. There you go. You got those teddy bear bunk style mattresses, the plush three inch thick, they're comfortable. You get some of those venture forward uh, inflatable pads like we have in the camping section at Camping World in Gander. This is gonna be a good night's sleep for the kids or for the adults. But the cool part about this one, check out my bed underneath, man. How cool is that? Yeah, so this also is strut supported underneath. It's got the Ottomans. You got another mattress under here and there's your ladder for the bunk over here. So not only do you have storage, you got a, pretty much a full size bunk or a double bunk that you can stack up. You got the pillows to make the arrangement however you wanna do it. Uh, just giving you some options. You'll see bunks that'll have like the fold out lounges and stuff like that. I like this one because you got the pillows. So if you're like me and you sleep you know, wrapped up like that, you got that option to do it. And all starting at $38,995 or as low as $9.34 a day, you really can't beat that. Solid door coming into the living area. And right here is our bathroom. Now with a lot of the bunk models, you'll notice uh, that they'll have double access points, uh, which is a great feature because it allows the family, the kids to come and go as they please without waking up or disturbing anybody who might be in the master uh, bedroom. This one has a high rise porcelain bowl with the foot flush, nice upgraded feature. I'm not cramped any way I sit in this one. A large single basin sink, some storage underneath. I got the medicine cabinet right here and my single surround shower with the skylight, the corner notches. And since we got barrel ceilings with you know really good height clearance, I'm not gonna be cramped in here, but the skylight does give me some additional headroom. So if I do wanna wash what hair I have left, I have the option to do that here. You wanna bring the kids or the dogs in, clean them off before you track anything into the rest of the camper. You can do that here in the shower and, and little mini tubs around down there. Just gotta be careful because you know the water will splash over. But I like how we have our own access point to get in and out right there. As we make our way across this beautiful, easy to clean, slip resistant flooring, the easy sweep. I like these because it's a laminated, it's bow floor, it's, it's laminated and it's, you know, weather resistant, it's tough, it's durable, just easy to clean. Check out my storage options that I have right here in the pantry slash wardrobe. Now there's a bar there and you can take these shelves out. So if you wanna make this a wardrobe, you absolutely can because when you're talking about sleeping 10 people, you need some options to give you variants of, do I need to bring hunting gear, fishing gear, or food? You know, you can do all of it. We also have ourselves a beautiful U-shaped dinette, which is comfortable. They brightened up the interiors, but they left the furniture dark because it shows less wear and tear and less stains. But this is your reconnection spot. Take a look at my beautiful residential style sconces, the wood balances with the curtain sides, decorative, appealing, and residential. You're not leaving any creature comforts of home when you go out camping. That's what's great about these Solaires. And this one, 317 BHSK, starts at $38,995 or as low as $9.34 a day. This is a 44 by 84 U-shaped dinette. Plenty of room to sleep one person. You could probably get two, just be a little bit tight. But I mean, for 35 feet, one inch long total, 7,100 pounds dry, sleeping 10, you about less than a dollar a day per head of people you could sleep in here. Where can you get a hotel room for that? I don't know, but I don't know if I'd wanna stay there if I did find one. Got storage underneath there too. 11 cubic foot GE 12 volt fridge. Love this, the vibration smarts because it's also frost resistant on the front. Sometimes, you know, the freezer will start freezing. You'll get that frost on the outside. You won't have that with these 12 volts. Plus you got the additional space. You got the solid surface countertop over here. This is beautiful, nice prep space. Uh, I, 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 people I've seen use these as cutting boards because it is that solid, hard surface. I don't advise that because you know then you get all the cutting marks, um, but you do get a cutting board that comes with this because you have an undermounted farmhouse style sink. Got my drying racks up right now so you can see those, just a nice little feature. Sprayer nozzle here, high rise faucet, large window on the campsite, flush mounted three burner cooktop, plus I got my oven down here and bake me some potatoes, some shrinky dinks, some ribs, whatever you wanna make. You got the options right there. 
This one also has a pretty cool sleeper sofa. It's a 68 incher. Check this out. It's just a slide out. Now, obviously, I got to leave some pass through room for Fritz, but you pull this out. This is plush, leatherette, thick, and comfortable. That's going to be a good night's sleep for whoever, for whoever wants to sleep on it. And then, when you're ready for it to go back, you just lift the handle up and push it back. But a good, nice little addition. And look how thick these cushions are. This is probably where my wife and I would end up sleeping. Once again, large windows, high clearances, beautiful molded wood inside of the slides. I got the large TV right here in the entertainment center, component shelf, and a fireplace with multi-flame setting LED light underneath. So if you wanted to knock the chill off the air, that's 5200 BTUs of heat that you can get right there. And speaking of, this one has a 15,000 BTU AC, the upgraded new Furion ACs with the quick cool right there. These are nice because the filter is in there behind it. Easy to clean, easy to get to, nice upgraded feature. But with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, we won't get a chance to get to everything we want to show you. So we have people standing by who will walk through and give you the information, answer your questions, and find the one that's right for you. You might not need something that sleeps 10 people. We got 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming. So we got something that'll fit you and your budget. You just got to find it. And to get it, you just text FRESH to 46642 or drive me a comment down below FRESH. Before we go outside, though, I have to show you this. Sure, the king size bed, the ward storage, boom. But my end cap. You got the privacy window right there, one way, USB and 110 power port. But imagine waking up with your loved one, watching the sun come up, watching the sun go down, just reconnecting with the loved ones and having that moment that we didn't get a chance to have in 2020. That to me, is what RV is all about. Sure, we're selling a physical item that you can take with you and take anywhere because it's your RV. But what we're really doing is we're making dreams come true. And ask the people that you talk to at Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors or come in and see us. We've got over 160 locations. They'll ask them about the independent suspension axles that we have on this that make a smoother ride behind those aluminum rims with no rusting nitro filled tires. The independent suspension, which will keep that rocking from back and forth, giving you a much smoother ride. Ask them about that. Say, what's the difference between fiberglass and aluminum? Tell me about Asdell. Tell me about foam core. Tell me about our values. What does that mean? Let them walk you through that journey to find the RV that's going to be right for you. And if you are looking, for induction heat on your outside kitchen, and you say, you know what, since we're out here in the land where the beef is some of the best in the world, I think I'm gonna cook my own steak out here. You got an induction graystone on your outside kitchen, metal tops, so you can do your prep work. You got your large fridge right here, which, oh, uh, I was hoping they would leave me, uh, you know, my favorite, which is bourbon, because when I'm outside, I like to do the outside bourbon in the outside fridge. Instead, they left me a bottle of water. So, I understand. We are recording professionally, and I am semi-professional. But if you want the outside kitchen, with the sink, with the fridge, with the storage, or you just need something that has maybe just the LP Quick Connect like this one has, you want power jacks, you want whatever, we got something that's right for you. Just text FRESH to 46642, or drop us a comment down below, FRESH. Now, if you're saying, Chris, that Forest River Solera 317 BHSK, I got some questions about it, but I'm thinking this is the one for us. We love the large awning, the LED light strips, and starting at $38,995, or as low as $9.34 a day, ringing in at 7,100 pounds, 35 feet long, I could tow that with my 1,500. How do I get it? Drop me a comment down below, RV or text RV to 46642, or just give us a call, 877-297-8725. Now, we do have a lot of competitors going around. There's other shows taking place, uh, sure. You might be saying to yourself, Chris, uh, you know, I don't want to come to the largest RV dealer that has the most options at the best prices. You know, I'm the type of person that wants to put an ejector seat on a helicopter. Uh, so I'm going to go to the competition. Get you another deal. Let me beat it. I will beat it guaranteed or I'll give you a thousand bucks in cash. Just text deal to 46642. Drop me a comment down below. Deal. We got more of those beautiful bunkhouses for that whole RV family coming up with more on the Ultimate RV Show National Tour.
Demand for RVs is at historic levels, which is why we are working around the clock to bring you over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. That's the largest selection of RVs in the world. Fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. RVs are made by Americans for Americans. And now you can see America for less. Shop over 80,000 factory fresh RVs starting at just $5 a day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. Travel with peace of mind. Good Sam Roadside Assistance covers your cars, RVs, motorcycles, and all eligible family members. Unlike the competition, we offer unlimited distance towing, free roadside tire delivery, and coverage in all of North America. It's no wonder top consumer reviews ranked us number one. With plans as low as $5.50 a month, you can't afford to get stuck without it. When you want to take your whole RV family out on the road to see America the safest way possible, why not do it in a luxury RV? What's up? It's Chris Young, standing in the beautiful 2021 Cougar 29 BHS. This bunk model rings in at 34 feet long, roughly 7,000 pounds dry, can easily sleep nine people, and you get all the creature comforts of home and the quality manufacturing that Keystone is known for. Cougar, especially these half tons, these are made to be towed by half ton trucks, hence the Cougar half ton, and hence the 7,000 pound dry weight. But you're not giving up anything when it comes to insulation, quality, all the amenities. You're still rated from zero to 100 degrees on the insulation inside these beauties. And for starting at $37,995 or as low as $9.10 a day, it's a deal that can't be beat. What do you say we hop right into the bunks? Now, some of the bunk models that you've seen have the bunks on the camp side. We've seen bunk rooms. This one is the bunks on the off camp side. 300 pound capacities on both the top and the bottom bunk. These are double over double bunks with what I like to call the doggy door. And I left this up so you could see. It's latched in right there at the bottom, but you can see the sturdy aluminum frame. The bunk is actually just folded up and locked in. But look at how much space and room we have under there to load in bikes, pets. You wanna put a couple of kayaks in there, you absolutely could. I mean, if you get up one of those uh, Coleman CT100s from Camping World or Gander, you might be able to get one of those bad boys up in here if you get a mini bike, because why not cruise up out of your RV looking like the Fonz when you pull up to your campsite? Hey, I mean, on the CT100s, it just look it up, you'll understand. Hideaway ladder right here, solid construction, barrel ceilings, over 80 inches of height, already set up for wine guard. Uh, and so when I say set up, what that means is we are pre-wired for 4G, Wi-Fi, and LTE boosting or extension. So if you want to stay connected on the road, you can buy these plans from WineGuard, and wherever you go, you'll get some additional signal, boost your signal, or boost your Wi-Fi. So you can, you know, watch your Netflixes and your Hulu's while you're on the road. Coming to the bathroom, this is where we have our second access point, because all of these RVs, well, except for the, the smaller 217, um, has access points, because when you take your family, sure, you want to stay connected, you want everybody to, to be together, but at the same time, you don't want to disrupt somebody's sleep, and you want your sanctuary, you want your separation of space. Hence having this separate door right here. <clears throat> Solid surface countertop here in the bathroom, undermounted sink too on my vanity, which makes cleanup a whole lot easier. You can just sweep everything into the bowl. And since it's undermounted, we don't have a seal around the edge that could rot, get dirty, and start chipping away. Brush nickel fixtures going around. Look at that solid wood construction on my medicine cabinet right here. Hideaway hinges, <clears throat> excuse me, porcelain bowl with the foot flush, and my single surround 36 inch shower with my skylight, my little tub surround, brush nickel fixtures on my hardware. Yes, even though this is a lighter weight RV, you're not skimping on any amenities inside of here. And the fact that I have a tub surround, now this one sleeps seven. Uh, and if you wanna bring the pets and the kids, this, this is where you clean everybody off. If you're going fishing, you're going hunting, or you're just gonna go out to the state parks, maybe do some hiking, uh, you know, go up in the mountains, uh, get everybody cleaned off, enter into the bathroom, spray off here in the tub, and then you don't have to worry about tracking everything through this beautiful hyperdeck flooring that we have inside the Cougar 29 BHS. Um, this hyperdeck flooring is actually really cool too. It's a polypropylene laminated fiberglass 
which means it's going to be mildew, water resistant, and that additional layer is going to help with the insulation. Because, I mean, we have astrofoil and radiant foil barriers all the way around. We got an enclosed underbelly, heated tanks, the whole nine. So why not make the floor even extra? Why not? We took out the carpet and the slides, too, because if you have carpet in your home, well, you know how dirty it can be. <clears throat> when you're in your RV, it gets just as dirty. Trifold sleeper sofa right here, but this is my reconnection spot. The kids are playing. The slide really opens up the living area for me. Plenty of room for the kids to go by, but entertainment, we got a TV there. Maybe the boys are in the bunks reading, or if you're doing the ladies weekend getaway or the guys weekend getaway, imagine just hanging out here watching the ball game or talking about the wine tour that you just went on. Your Megan memories are gonna last forever and you're doing it with huge panoramic windows so you could view whatever beautiful part of nature you wanted to pull up to. These are some of the largest in-class windows and you'll see it almost spans the entire wall of the slide. Plus we have them on the ends of the slide right here so you got good cross breeze, wonderful light coming in, all surrounded by wood balances, mushroom lights, and more headroom than you're gonna get in a lot of travel trailers. Now, uh, usually you get full head clearance in fifth wheels with the slides. So if that's something that you need, you need to make sure when you talk to your specialist at Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors to make that note. Have them show you the headroom, the height, because I'm gonna tell you now, nothing hurts more than when you're getting up out of the booth dinette and slamming your noggin on one of these solid wood slides. Entertainment center over here. I got my frosted glass inlays here on my cabinetry. You got those cabinets that are 20 inches deep there. Large 4K TV on a slide, or on a swivel, excuse me. And check out my hideaway storage back there. Sure, it's a component shelf, but since my kids never, A, get to use the remote because I won't let them, uh, and B, never look behind the TV, this is where I would put the good Girl Scout cookies. Yep. They love trying to steal. And here's the thing, they, they eat the Girl Scout cookies, they'll eat the last one, and they'll put the box back. They won't even throw the box away. What type of disrespectful thing is that in my house, in my RV to do? Just, it, I get all excited about my, my Samoa, my peanut butter bar, and before I open the box, it's nothing but crumbs. Man, let me tell you what, them boys, they're not being raised right. And I guess that falls on me since I said it. Got my components right here, my Furion AM FM Command Center, CD, DVD player, Bluetooth, you can control it from your cell phone, and my InnoFlame fireplace. I am such a huge fan of these electric fireplaces because A, they're electric. You got 1400 watts, roughly 4800 BTUs of heat, and that little blower does a good job, especially if you're sitting here just knocking the chill off the air, but you got the multi-flame settings and the multi-light settings. So if you just want the aesthetic, you can just cut the lights on and not have to worry about cutting the actual fireplace on. That adds such a cool air to when you're just sitting here and camping. It's like, oh, hey, we got our own campfire, but I don't know how to make one because I've been living in opulence all my life. So I use that to pretend like I got one. It's a beautiful thing. Got the Dometic fridge freezer combo, runs on both gas and electric right here with the automatic switch. Plenty of space for those long weekend getaways. And check out my wood paneling inlay right there. Absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> Oversized dinette that also reduces down into a sleeper over here. Storage underneath. I got my solid surface countertop, flush mounted three burner cooktop with the grill style grate. I got the large 20 inch oven right there. I mean, I'm just a fan of how Keystone makes everything. 15K BTU AC, 30,000 BTU furnace. In command right here, where you can control everything from your cell phone. You can run the slides out, you can run the awning out, and you can cut the AC on, the heat on. So if you're home or if you're out on the road and you want to come back to the RV and you want it to be cool or warm, just go ahead and run everything from your cell phone. Need some additional pantry space? You got it right there. Automatic light, it pops on with motion sensing. That's good pantry space or ward space because uh, a lot of times you'll see the, the bar up top. That just means the pantry doubles as a ward because it's your RV. You need the convenience of being able to pick what you want to store, where you want to store it. I got me some hooks. I got a king size bed here in the master bedroom and the Fritz almost step out the way so you could step in there. King size bed with strut supported storage underneath. Plenty of ward storage and extra space up top. 
and take a look at that beautiful privacy window there at the end cap. Now we have the uh, privacy screen pulled down, but that is a tinted one-way window where when you wake up in the mornings, you want to watch the sunrise or you want to you know, sit there and drink a cup of coffee or maybe you just want to have a nightcap with your loved one and watch the sun go down, watch the moon come up, whatever you want to do. You have the option of doing it and reconnecting not only with family, but with nature as well. And with this 2021 Keystone Cougar 29 BHS starting at $37,995 or as low as $9.10 a day, sleeps nine, beautiful creature comfort. To yeah. get it, all you got to do is drop me a comment down below RV or text RV to 46642. Now, during the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, we won't really have time to show you all the features like talk about the enclosed heated underbelly, the 12 volt pads on the heat tanks the fiberglass with the automotive coating that allows for the graphics to not fade, the large awning with the LED light strip, the dual zone speakers, my capital grill with the radiant style grilling. Man, you talk about opening up grilling right here. This is awesome because you don't just have two burners. You got this entire cook space to do what you want to do. But that's why we have people standing by to give you that information. Oh, they put my bourbon in the fridge to give you that information during the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. They'll answer all the questions for you, they'll walk you through whatever RV you wanna see, and they'll help you get the paperwork done, we'll even deliver it to you. You don't even have to leave your camp chair or your couch. To get a hold of somebody, just drop us a comment down below, fresh, or text fresh to 46642. I mean, it's just that easy. Separate entry, adjustable pitch arning here on the arm. Before we finish with this beautiful 29 BHS, I wanna show you this. Spare tire mounted on the back, hitch, four x four sewer hose storage, and here is my doggy hatch. You ever pulled your RV up to the lake, sat on the back and just fished like Opie? Such a great memory making, man. Let me tell you, if getting out and about in the safety and security of your own home and making memories that's really what the Ultimate RV Show National Tour is all about. Sure, the physical item is this RV, but at the end of the day, it's your opportunity to complete that dream of getting out safely and securely that we did not get to do in 2020. It's about you and your family. That's my job. It's not selling these RVs. Once you see them and get in and get to touch them or talk to a specialist, they sell themselves. It's just a matter of what are you going to tow with, how many people you need to sleep, and where are you going to take it? That's what's going to get you the one that's right for you. I'm just trying to tell you how great it is to get out and do it because it's safe. It's the year of RV travel. And if this Cougar 29 BHS fits your bill at $37,995 or as low as $9.10 a day, 34 feet long, sleeps nine, roughly 7,000 pounds dry, this half ton's waiting for you. We can have it delivered to you. Just drop us a comment down below RV or text RV to 46642. Ultimate RV Show National Tour is going to continue with more of these beautiful RVs next. Chris Young painting the picture, man, out there fishing off the back deck. I love you, brother, so awesome. doing such a great job. The Ultimate RV Show National Tour. Sean Parra got the flipping Tilbys mm -hmm. and Bryce and his awesome, amazing Aww. daughter. Little Indy. This is half the Jurgies right now. I know. <laughs> I, this is my goddaughter. I've actually uh, become true. the godfather, the babysitter. <laughs> but listen, uh, ultimate giveaways are what we all about. We promised you so ultimate excited. giveaways. It's day three. Let's get to it. Three winners right now. Sean, we'll start Woo! with you. All right. First one. And again, text URVS to 46642 if you want to get entered to win these. And, and what are we giving more? away? $50 merch Woo! certificate. Bam! Yeah. three. Awesome. First one Three goes to Sharon Norway. Sharon Woo! Norway. Sharon Woo! Norway. Sounds like, again, another great actress from a television series on Fantastic. Insert Network here. How about number two? Can you read that number one? Number two. Let's see here. You can't read my handwriting is what you're saying. <laughs> right there. Dancia Scott. Danica. 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 Yeah. I know. Sorry. You on didn't that want one. to say Danica because of the whole Aaron Rodgers thing. I get that. Danica Scott. Third you won one. $50. Linda. Rop. Rop. Oh. Yeah. So okay. awesome. More awesome. giveaways coming up right now. We're going to take a look at this Forest River Solaire from Chris Young. Chris, what you got? It's all about those bring your whole RV family RVs with this beautiful segment here at the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. What's up? It's Chris Young standing in the smallest offering for this. Now, just because an RV is less than 27 feet long, less than 4,600 pounds dry weight, and does not have a slide, you can still sleep seven people. So there are options if you need something lightweight, towable by an SUV, but 
just a place for people to rest your head and some bunks, this is an option for you. Standing here in the beautiful Forest River Solaire 217BH. Dry weight, like I mentioned, just under 4,600 pounds, starting at $27,995 or as low as $6.92 a day. This model features a full bath in the rear on the off-camp side and double over double bunks with additional storage on the camp side. Let's take a look at the bunks that we have here. You got, as pretty common with most models, the plush Teddy Bear Series bunk mattress that's furry and comfortable. The kids or the adults would have fun with the bunks. I mean, if you need a hunting cabin or a fishing cabin, these are great. Because if you're going to be doing a lot of activities outside, you just need a place to come back, clean off, and sleep. This is really all you need. Double over on the top, double down on the bottom, and you'll see we got 110 power up here, dual USB charging ports down there, and when you need to slide the bikes in, or you know maybe whatever you want to do, this bottom bunk folds up, and you can easily put bikes, uh, rifle cases, fishing rods, whatever you need, right in that storage area right there. When it's time to go to bed, Boom, lay it down. You got yourself a very comfortable double over double bunk. Solid door going into the bathroom. And something that I don't usually see in a lot of small RVs like this, a high profile porcelain bowl uh, with the foot flush. That's a nice upgraded feature that with the Solaires, you're gonna find upgraded amenities that you won't really find in other like entry level RVs. And this one's only starting at $27,995 or as low as $6.92 a day. It's less than seven bucks. I got me some countertop space here, got me some storage underneath, kind of thin storage right here. I guess that would just be for like maybe toilet paper, uh, you know, maybe some toiletries, this, that, and the other thing. You got your corner mounted medicine cabinet right there, large sink for your vanity, 36 inch residential style uh, shower. We walk in with a single surround and the mini tub surround. Um, these are great if you need to wash off the kids or the dogs. The only thing is with that low lip, you just got to watch out for the splashing. But I got the curved bar giving me more room with my curtain and the skylight giving me some more headroom. Now being six foot two when I stand up straight, um, I'm still not crowded left to right or up or down. And this is a slideless RV. I mean, 4,600 pounds. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty nifty. I don't get a chance to hop into the Solaires very often, uh, which is why I was excited about being here in this region. You know, we got Kansas, we got Illinois, we got Idaho, uh, you know, some, uh, some just great areas out here. Oh, and great beef. The smokehouses out in this area. Oh man, plus, I mean, with Illinois, I'm, I'm a Chicago kid. I love the Bears, been a Bears fan since I was like six years old. I didn't, I worked there for a little while. I'm not from there, I'm from North Carolina. Um, but I love the Bears, I love Chicago sports. And I love going and getting my Giordano's pizza, my Portillo's. I mean, do you remember when Hot Dogs was around? Hot Dogs and Case Meat Emporium? Best hot dogs on the planet, right, Fitz? Yeah, baby. Oh, man, okay, I'm getting hungry now. But the good thing is, if I need to store some food, check out my 11 cubic foot GE 12 volt fridge. Vibration smart, frost resistant, plenty of room to store food, drinks for those long weekend getaways. Got the lock in. Look, you hear them back there? They're beating to try to get down to those Giordano's. Got some storage right here. Nice deep shelves too. So if you need pantry space or if you just need something for the hunting gear, the fishing gear, these are great because it's your RV. You can do what you want to with it. Uh, we got the ducting for the AC. We got a 15,000 BTU AC. You got a 38 by 70 dinette right over here on the campsite. Nestled underneath a beautiful large panoramic window with that solid wood balance, my privacy curtain. And right above my head right here, <clears throat> got my TV on the swivel. So if I want to watch it wherever I want to go, or if I want to bring it completely around, I mean, you can watch it while you're just doing your thing, if you know what I mean. Hey, you got options, right? You got options, you got to use them. But it's already, oh, look at this, I cut it on. How about that? Well, hello there. Hello. I was about to watch me some cartoons. You can see what I do when I'm in between RVs. I like to watch cartoons. But this is my reconnection spot. Can easily fit four people here. Can sleep one extremely comfortably. Uh, all total, this RV can sleep seven. But if you think about the last time you got a chance to get out, see America the safest way possible, or just go see some of the state parks, go to the lakes, go visit family members. We, we didn't get a chance to do it last year. And now with 2021 being the year of RV travel, we know it's, it's coming. We know the tide is coming. We've seen it. 
people have figured out that they don't have to buy airline tickets. They don't have to book hotel rooms. You don't know who you're going to be sitting next to on the plane. You don't know who's been in that hotel room. But when you're your RV and you're in it, you're in your RV. It's your safety, your security, your home away from home. And having the meals, playing the card games, playing the board games, just talking about what you've done, this is where you start making the memories. You might not think about it. Two and two might not click in until you're actually in the moment and doing it. But kids will remember. The family members will remember. The loved ones will remember. And you owe it to yourself. And during the Ultimate RV Show, when you're talking about the pricing that we have, I mean, starting at $27,995 or as low as $6.92 a day, I'm going to use the logic that my wife uses. It's on sale. I'm saving us money by getting this. I never argue that point because A, happy wife, happy life. You put two and two together on that one easily. Fury and AM FM Command Center, and you'll see this is dual zone. So if I want to play the music inside or out, I can. I got my USB, it's also Bluetooth, and you can control it from your cell phone. You got your little audio in. If you want to just pop in your headphones, you can. You got plenty of storage up top here behind these frosted glass doors, hideaway hinges. Whenever you see updated fixtures like these graphite handles, the hideaway hinges, that's just a sign of good quality construction. You get beveled edges on the doors. You get solid surface countertops. Yes, this is a solid surface countertop, allowing us to not only have some good prep space and cutting space, but an undermounted farmhouse style sink, high rise faucet, and the sprayer nozzle. Residential appeal, residential feel. You're not going to really lose any creature comforts of home when you come get RVs in 2021, especially with these Forest River Solaires. <clears throat> Plenty of storage here in my drawers. Full extension on the ball bearing drives there. More hideaway hinges on my closet here. I got my oven, so if I want to bake some ribs, I want to make my own hot beef sandwich, I can put that in there or do the shrinky dinks. I got my decorative backsplash, flush mounted microwave. But the thing I thought was most unique about this 217BH was the Murphy conversion that we have up here. It is a Murphy bed with a jackknife sofa and I have storage underneath here, which are drawers, I'm gonna show you here in a minute. But this is another reconnection spot, sitting with your loved one, got cross breeze going from the large windows, or you got friends that wanna come over and hang out. Hideaway storage, once again with the hideaway hinges, and some additional chairs. I'm over 200 pounds, over six foot two. Can easily sit on this. Sure, it's not a chair, but it's an option. And RVs that give you options, give you options to have fun and reconnect with your loved ones. So slide this back. If I want to make the jackknife sofa just come out into a bed, obviously I got that option right here. This couch also moves, so you can adjust it. You can move it back and forth. It's not like mounted to the back. This mattress, which is a high density foam mattress. Here's your Murphy bed, bed portion, but it's not like you're mounted to a space. You can take this mattress if you want, put it over the dinette. Why not? Bada bing, bada boom, leave the sofa up. Window right there in the front end cap, privacy one way with your own shade, but that is where it would make memories watching the sunrise or the sunset with your loved one. How amazing would that be? Mirrored ward storage on both sides, dual USB charging over there, 110 power on both sides, got my mushroom lights. Easy to clean, slip resistant flooring. And all of this starting at $27,995 or as low as $6.92 a day. This beauty is 26 feet long, roughly 4,600 pounds dry weight, and can sleep seven people. For starting at less than seven bucks a day, that's a win. You're talking about a fiberglass RV, solid steps, pass through storage that's lit and secure, or excuse me, just finished off storage in here that's lit and secure. Plus I got the magnetic anti-slam on the latches. And you know, with Gander and Camping World, you can also get all the gear that you want for hunting, fishing, the whole nine. You don't have to go anywhere. We'll load your RV up for you. The best part, outside kitchen space, man. You gotta have it. When you wanna do some cleaning, do the prep work, you got the steel countertop, the sink, and my favorites, the mini fridge. Because what am I always doing? When I'm outside, I want my outdoor bourbon. I got to have my three finger pour. I got space in there to keep my thing cold, safety glass, tenant, speakers, the whole night. So 
There's so many more features that we would love to show you here on this 2021 Forest River Solaire 217BH. But during the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, we don't have time. That's why we got specialists standing by right now to answer your questions and walk you through the one that's right for you. If you're looking for something, 4,600 pounds, roughly 26 feet long, that can sleep seven for less than $7 a day, Drop me a comment down below, RV or text RV to 46642. Now, if you need something maybe a little bit bigger, you know, maybe you want to get your gear and you want to make sure that you got the right gear for all your RVing, and you say, Chris, maybe I need a fifth wheel, Class C or Class A. We got over 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming. Drop me a comment down below, fresh or text fresh to 46642. They will walk you through the process, send you the paperwork. You don't even have to leave the comfort of your couch. We will bring the RV to you. If you got a trade, we'll even pick it up and take it back plain and simple. Now you might be saying there's a lot of trade shows going on right now. Competition, you know, they're offering some pretty good deals. I think I am going to go check out the competition and I'm going to see what they have. You know what? You can also pack a wooden frying pan. You're going to accomplish the same thing either way. But if you think you get a good deal, I promise I'm going to beat it or I'm going to give you a thousand bucks in cash guaranteed. Just drop BEAT down below or text BEAT to 46642. When it comes to your RV and your choices, Pick the one that's right for you, but just pick one. Because when you get out and make those family memories with the loved ones, it's worth it. Hopefully you'll see that as the Ultimate RV Show National Tour continues with more of those beautiful take your whole family RVing bunkhouses as we continue next. From sunup to sundown, we are designing your next big adventure, building your family vacation, delivering your memories that will last a lifetime. We know it's more than just an RV, which is why we are working around the clock to bring over 80,000 RVs fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. Built by Americans for Americans and starting at less than $5 per day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World today. Welcome to RV Pro Tips. Today we'll be covering how to plan the ultimate RV family road trip. I'm Brianna. And I'm Craig. And we're from Crazy Family Adventure. Us and our four kids, Carson, Malia, Cannon, and Knox, sold our house, everything in it, and bought an RV and have been traveling full time around North America since May 2014. We love RV travel and how it allows us to get out and explore and see so many amazing places. So we've been living, working, and traveling full-time in our RV for six years. So come learn all about how to plan the ultimate RV family road trip. So when you're ready to prepare your RV for a family trip, there's a few things you want to keep in mind. One thing is that you're going to be packing your RV for your whole trip. So you're gonna to wanna to bring with your pillows, your blankets, all those things that are gonna make you and your family comfortable. We'd also recommend making sure you bring with some games and maybe some movies, cause sometimes you run into a rainy day or just a day where everyone just wants to hang out and enjoy being at the campground and in your RV. Then there's RV meal planning. If you want to, you can plan your meals well ahead of time and make sure you have everything you need for your whole RV trip. You can literally get everything you need, have your RV packed, and be ready to go to just enjoy the trip and not have to worry about stopping at stores to pick up anything. So just like with any road trip, you want to make sure that your either your motorhome or your tow vehicle is ready to hit the road. You may be doing some long miles or you may be doing some strenuous up and down in the mountains. So you want to make sure that your fluids are all topped off, your tires look good, and everything under the hood is ready to go. So bring it to your local mechanic or bring it on to Camping World and they'll check it out and do a once over on your vehicle. Make sure you're good to go. So the RV's ready to go, but now you need to find the route you're gonna take. You do wanna do some planning and I'll tell you why. When we were beginning our veers, we thought we could just plug in our destination and follow right along. Well, we found ourselves on a little tiny mountain road and we hit a bridge that could not handle the weight of our rig. There was nowhere to turn around. There was nothing we could do. So now we know we need to put a little bit more effort into planning our RV route. We've we actually used a good SAM uh, navigation system, which where you can plug in the length, the height, and the weight of your RV, and it'll give you a safe route to travel. So it's super helpful, it's very easy and convenient, and uh, it'll keep you out of situations like that. If you are the one driving, you're probably also going to want to make sure you know what mountains you're going to be hitting. 
<laughs> for sure, yeah. There's definitely, there's ultimate resources out there that'll tell you what percentage grades you're gonna be coming up on because you don't wanna be going up something too steep where your engine may not be able to handle it or something too steep coming down where your brakes not be, might not be able to handle it. That's a very scary situation. So it'll keep you away from all that stuff. And then when it comes to planning, do we talk to our kids about it beforehand? And I would say, yes, we do, and no, we don't. <laughs> so there's some places that we want to go, and we're just like, nope, this is what we're doing. This is where we're heading. We want to head back to Montana. That's what we're going to do. But then on the other hand, we also know that our kids have a ton of friends they've met across the country since we've been on the road that they want to go and visit them. We do take their input into account for sure, but then also there are times that we just do what it is that we know we want to do, or where the weather's nice, or, or if we have a work event, and again, can you tell there's no rhyme or reason to what we do? <laughs> yep, there isn't. <laughs> so we're gonna go on these long road trips with kids. So how do we keep them entertained? Well, we're gonna be honest here, folks. Yeah. We're gonna be totally honest. We've been doing this a long time. We also are in support of electronics. You give your kids their iPad or their tablet. Yep, no <laughs> shame in that answer right there. <laughs> they put their headphones on, they watch it. I work, he listens to what he wants to while he's driving. Mm -hmm. It's good. We can yeah. drive for like six, seven hours like that. Everyone's happy. Everyone's good. It yeah. works out for everyone. Now, if there's times and we're like, okay, we've just driven for five hours today, five hours tomorrow, we're going to take a little break. We may turn on a podcast that we all listen to. We'll also do Audible where we'll listen to some books together. So we will do some of those things as well. But the reality is if you're driving across the country, let your kids watch a movie or TV. Yeah, there's nothing worse than trying to focus on the road when kids are screaming in the background. You just can't do it, so. And the other thing that I've realized is once I heard one too many times, Mom, I'm hungry. Mom, I want food. So now what I do is I actually pack a lunchbox for each kid before we hit the road. And I tell them basically, this is your food for the whole trip. So you can eat it right when you get in the car or you can spread it out through the whole time, but this is all you got, so figure out what you want to do. And I will tell you that has been a life changer too because now with their headphones on and their tablet and their bag of food, <laughs> we don't hear from them. So it really works out good for everyone that everyone gets a chance to do what they wanna do and chill out and relax while we're driving to our next destination. So when we're traveling and we're going far distances, do we either go the whole way or do we break it up at a couple hours at a time? Yeah, and typically I like to stay around the four hour mark for driving. I think that keeps everybody kind of like fresh and not like totally wiped and especially me driving um, that's kind of like where we like to keep it now that being said if we're like six or seven hours we may just power through to get there in one shot just so then we won't have to do it again the next day well i think it also depends on the weather like if the weather is really sure. good and it's sunny skies and we can just keep driving it also depends just the mood everyone in the family is in I'll say there have been times when Craig said, we're gonna go three hours and then we get rolling and like seven hours later, we're like, oh, we just kept driving and now we're here. So when we're trying to plan a road trip, we wanna take a few things into account. First of all, we wanna think, what are some things that Craig and I wanna do? What are some things our kids wanna do? And depending on the age of your kids, this can change too. So we're gonna try to find something that really fits within their ages. They're 13, 10, 10, and eight. So that really means that we can do a lot of that fun outdoor stuff with them. So we try to find destinations that we can go to that we can do that. So I think it really comes down to what you want to get out of that trip. Are you trying to see a bunch of sites, like trying to see all the national parks, stop at a bunch of attractions on the way, do a bunch of things? Or would you rather just be going and just going somewhere where you can sit and just enjoy it? But I would say something to keep in mind when you're traveling with kids, they get bored and over those attractions really, really quick. So do not plan a trip where you're gonna go and see like every day like three different like monuments or different, like they're not gonna wanna do it. So make sure you also include days in there where the kids can just run free and play and rock climb and swim and go to the beach and do things like that. So go plan your RV trip. It will be an awesome time and your family will love it. It'll be some bumps in the road, it'll be some chaos and some craziness, but that also helps get your family closer too. So get that RV and hit the road. Heartland has RVs to help everyone launch their life's journeys. All new designs and floor plans provide choices for every type of camper. Whether you're a solo RVer, a family, a retiree, or something in between, come find your perfect model. Because buying a Heartland should feel like you're joining our family. So let's hit the road and enjoy life's great adventures together. 
It's all about taking your whole RV family with this segment. It's the bunk houses, so you can get everybody that you want to get out seeing America the safest way possible. What's up? It's Chris Young, standing in the back of the beautiful Heartland Mallard M32. This beauty rings in 34 feet, 9 inches long, roughly 7,000 pounds, dry, 6926, always round up, because I do that with my taxes, and so far they haven't caught me. 45-gallon fresh tank and dual 40s on the black and the grays, and this one starts at $32,995, or as low as $7.90 a day. We're going to start back in the bunk room. Now, with the Heartland Mallards, you're going to get upgraded features and amenities. You're going to get king size bed, king kong size storages, and just beautiful interiors with dark and light mix where the accents just pop and make you want to get out and stay and do things with your family. Over here on the campsite, we got a double over bunk over the entertainment center. So this is a 300 pound capacity bunk. Can easily get an adult up here. Probably a couple of kids, you know, because we have two boys, 12 and 6. And that's what we do, you know, we, we, we put the boys in one bunk because uh, sometimes we'll just set up a little TV, let them watch their thing or give them the board games, the card games, come back 20 minutes later and they're zonked out type of thing. Um, comfortable plush teddy bear mattress here too, over two inches thick. And take a look at my entertainment center. You got space right here to put a TV, you got your cable connection or satellite, got your 110 power, storage down here pull out drawers, and what I like about Heartland with what they've done with the Mallards, they took the additional attention to detail to do the graphic paper down below, the little applique, and make the sides white. It just looks nice, looks a pretty, and you got the dark accent, the graphite handles on solid wood cabinetry all the way around. That slate gray with that graphite black really pops. We also have barrel ceilings in the Mallards. Now you got a four inch fully walkable roof on this, four inch foam core insulation. That's some of the thickest in the industry. So not only does it make it super sturdy, but that insulation helps keep the temperature where you want it. I mean, you're looking at a 30,000 BTU uh, it's furnace on this, 13.5 BTU AC, and with the foam core and the Asdell insulation that we have here, just really does a good job of keeping it where you want it. And those barrel ceilings just add to adding more space and the feel of more space. Over here on the off-camp side, I got my twin over bunk, 200 pound max capacity here. Now this is uh, 39 by, uh, or 36 by 69. Over here was, uh, is a 76 inch bed. So this one's a little bit shorter than this one. Great for the kids, but still 300 pound capacity. And when you wanna hang out and have fun and make this the entertainment center for the whole entire family, check out my little optional sofas that we have here. You can make these pretty much whatever you want them. Fold them together, make two twin beds, put them together, make one big full size bed, or stack them on top and make that princess with a P style type of just super thick bed. And these little backers right here, sure, they're mainly for like when you wanna just sit down and make it a lounger because I got my coffee spot, I can put my drink right here, I can hang out, watch TV, but they're versatile. You can turn them, the kids can use them to play around, you can roughhouse with them and you don't really have to worry about them tearing. Uh, and since they're the darker feel, they're gonna show wear and tear less and show stains less. It's another great feature with what they've done with RVs recently. They've lightened and brightened the interiors, but they've made the furniture and everything a little bit darker so that you can keep it a lot longer. But these are comfortable, the kids are gonna absolutely love them and it gives you options on how you're gonna get them sleeping, hanging out, or just having fun back here. And when it's time for privacy, you got your privacy curtain right here. No door, which makes it a little bit lightweight. Like I mentioned at the beginning, this one is only 6,900 pounds dry weight. That's pretty light. So the mallards are lightweight, but packed full of insulation and features. Solid wood cabinetry here on my pantry slash ward storage, because if you need to, you can take these shelves out you see I got my ward bar up there. So I'm just giving you some options. Um, that's a great thing about RVs too. Uh, you don't really have to use it for the traditional stuff like you use your house. You know, in the kitchen, that's where you keep your cups, your plates, your, your pantry items inside the pantry. But with your RV, if you want to make it a hunting cabin or a fishing cabin, I mean, or since we're out here in the area where they got some of the best ribs and steaks <laughs> and on the planet, you can just pull this bad boy up to the smokehouse, eat, you get the itis, come back, take a nap. You can keep all your napkins and everything in there if you want it, or all your hunting gear and fishing gear. 
Now with a lot of the bunk models, you're gonna see that they are double access, which means they're gonna have two doors. Right here, this one, the entry point is into the bathroom. So if the kids wanna stay outside a little bit later, you wanna go to bed a little bit earlier, they can come and go as they please and vice versa. They won't wake you up, you won't wake them up. You got the angled bowl right here with the foot flush, plastic bowl, I still got plenty of room. Over 200 pounds, over six feet two. Uh, so plenty of room, I'm not cramped. I got my countertop space here, along with my single basin sink for my vanity, storage underneath, my medicine cabinet, and my little mini shower surround with the tub. That's a good spot if you wanna bring the pets along or the kids, get them cleaned off before you get back into the living area. You can enter through the bathroom, spray everybody off in the tub, and then you don't have to worry about tracking that stuff on this beautiful slip resistant linoleum that we have inside this Mallard M32. Now, once again, during the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, the prices are only good during the Ultimate RV Show. So this one starts at $32,995 or as low as $7.90 a day. If you say, Chris, I, I like what you're saying. We need something like that. How do I get this Mallard? I've heard about Heartland. I know they got a lot of features. Just drop us a comment down below RV or text RV to 46642. Also, with a lot of the bunk models, when you're going to take the whole family, you're going to find some U-shaped dinettes. Now, with over 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming, if you want bunks, but you don't want a U-shaped, maybe you want just a booth dinette, or you want a freestanding dinette, you have so many options that it's mind boggling. But just keep fresh in your mind. Text fresh down below, or uh, drop us a comment down below fresh, or text fresh to 46642. The thing I like about the U-shaped dinettes, sure, it gives you a little bit more space, I mean, not really, but just a little bit, than uh, the booth dinette, for sitting people around, you know, you, you get more sitting space uh, by shrinking down the table. You get the same sleeping space, but this is your hangout and have fun space. This is where when you get the family around, maybe it's the ladies weekend getaway to the winery or the beach, the lake, wherever you want to go, or the guys hunting trip or the ladies hunting trip and the guys beach, whatever you want to do, it's your RV. But this is where the memories start to build. You just get finished making a camp cooked meal or maybe you're playing cards or playing a board game or you're just sitting down watching TV hanging out. Those are the memories. You got beautiful residential features like LED sconces, large panoramic windows with privacy shades, plush, comfortable seating that once again is dark showing less wear and tear and less stains, storage underneath, I got my little trifold sofa right here, which is also a sleeper. Can fit two people on that beautiful plush thing. Over here on my Dometic fridge, I have the doodle station. This is a great feature, especially for the kids, because this is a chalkboard. If you have a rainy day, kids don't have anything to do, have them draw some designs on the, on the uh, fridge. Chris, that just sounds silly. You'll be surprised what kids will love, more importantly, what they'll remember if you have the option. Keep that in mind. Runs on both gas and electric. Had got the automatic switch on this one too, so you can keep things cold while you're going down the road. And when it's time to do some cooking with the Harlan Mallards, they have the Chef, the Master Chef inspired kitchen. Seamless countertops, pressed surfaces, high rise faucets, split sinks with cutting boards, giving you good prep space, plenty of countertop space, and a flush mounted three burner cooktop with the grill style grate, the graystone oven, the little night light accent on the controls. I like that because it does make a great night light. And like my boy Ian always says, try to cut on the back of the cutting boards because you don't want to have old chopped up top for your sink cover. Flush mounted high output microwave here. Plenty of storage up top. You got those 14 inch deep cabinets giving you some good room. And my entertainment center gives you options as well. If you wanna have a TV in the bedroom, you don't have to buy an additional TV. This one has a little locking mechanism that goes in here that keeps it in place. But when the doors are shut on the master, this spins around so you can take the TV when everybody goes to bed, spin it around, watch it in the master. Or just tell the kids, hey, I gotta watch my program. I'm tired of watching your Teen Titans. I'm gonna watch what I wanna watch. Plenty of storage up here as well. Component shelf down there. You got your Furion AM FM command center with Bluetooth. You got the CD DVD player. It is dual zone, so you can play the music inside and out that you want to. And then here in the master bedroom, a king size foam mattress. They have upgraded the mattresses uh, in these RVs to where I used to always say, get your own mattress. Um, but nowadays, these right here, these high density foam mattresses, 
You don't need to. These are extremely comfortable. Plus, you got plenty of storage options, nice LED accent lights, and all of this starting at $32,995 or as low as $7.90 a day. To sleep nine people, roughly 6,900 pounds dry, Here's the deal. I won't be able to show you all the features that I want to show you during the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, but we got people standing by who will answer those questions for you. They'll tell you about the heated and enclosed underbelly. They'll tell you about the up to 67 and a half cubic feet of storage in the King Kong size storage. Look at these doors that we have right here. They'll talk to you about the glow in the dark graphics for additional light and security at night. They'll tell you about the radial tires, the nitro filled, the wide track suspension, the heated and enclosed underbelly, the beautiful automotive coating on these fiberglass sides, the external speakers, the LED lights, and my favorite part, the external kitchens where you got your fridge. And when you got your fridge, you got your place to store your water, your sodas, your beers, and your bourbons. Because when I do my outdoor bourbon, I gotta have my three finger pour to make the outside experience happy. Anybody else thinking about Tully Blanchard, the Andersons, and Ric Flair when I do this? Or maybe John Cena? <laughs> You can see me on this one, and you will see me in this one if I get a chance to get it. There are so many options available for you. That's what I'm trying to tell you with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. You just got to find the one that's right for you. If this Mallard fits the bill, sleeps nine, 6,900 pounds, starting at $32,995, or as low as $7.90 a day, hit me with RV down below or text RV to 46642. Now, if you say, Chris, I love the bunk, I need something smaller, I need something bigger, we got you covered. Over 80,000 units are coming. So drop us a comment down below, fresh, or text fresh to 46642 to let one of our specialists find the one that's right for you. It's been all about to take your whole RV family bunkhouse models in this one. We got more when the Ultimate RV Show National Tour continues. Chris doing such a great job showing us As those always. mallards. And I walk around the show, and you, you guys, we talk about this all the time. When yeah. we see these mallards and all these outdoor kitchens, we're just in awe at some of the new models they have for 2021. And now, when we did the Ultimate Concert Series for Camping World, oh my gosh, we had the most amazing U -haul, uh, toy hauler with mm -hmm. the, the biggest garage I've ever seen. As a matter of fact, we're getting ready to go into one with a 13-footer. You guys know all about the big toy yeah, haulers. The, yeah. This is probably one, this is one of the best sections. <laughs> this is we similar to our rig. We have a toy hauler with a big garage as well. So all these units coming up, we're excited about. Yep. Yeah, Bryson, Nelly, Jergy. I'm Sean Parr, and uh, I've been in a toy hauler most of my life with my kids. Mm -hmm. My kids are all grown now. We've raced motocross. We've been everywhere. But when we pulled up, with that toy hauler, this one actually has a 13-foot garage. That's and we backed insane. it down and created that balcony. And when you go out in the morning, you sit there with your Oof. cup of coffee and you throw that uh, fishing pole out from the deck, or you sit there in the evening, you catch some catfish. Absolutely. I mean, you set a whole new standard. I mean, actually, that's why, I mean, sneak peek, you guys, for the future, but we are renovating our toy hauler garage into a bedroom for that very reason. So we have that deck and... You wake up and it's beautiful. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, and the separation from the kids, too. Yes. We're ready for it. It's the Keystone Raptor. Take a look at this beauty. This is the 413. Wow. Let's talk about some toy haulers with big garages. And I don't think you can talk about toy haulers without talking about probably one of the most premier brands in the industry, which is the Keystone Raptor. And, folks, this is the Raptor 413. It's a beautiful floor plan. You have a 13-foot garage back here, which, you know, if you've been looking at toy haulers, you probably know 13-foot is kind of right at that cutoff mark of being able to fit a side-by-side -side in uh, in the garage. So if that's something you're looking for, you want to make sure that you're able to fit your side-by-side, -side, I always do recommend making sure you take the dimensions of the one you're looking at or the one you currently have just to be sure, but 13-foot is generally that cutoff of where you should be just fine. Now, when we take a look back here in the garage, I wanna talk about a couple things of note. Now, you know, it's a, it's a little chilly out today, as you can see by my 15 layers of clothing and my gloves here. Um, but if you take a look out the back, even though we don't have it opened up, you'll notice a couple things. One, the doors themselves. I love what they've done here. So rather than use uh, like a, a simple screen or, you know, some manufacturers have like roll down screens, with Raptor, you get actual sliding doors, right? And you want to talk about being able to be in a space, you know, in an extended season, like the fall, spring, something like that, and still be comfortable in here. That right there is a great way to do it. Now, you can remove the uh, panes of glass in there if you just want a screen, you know? So if you want the breeze to come through, you can absolutely do that. But it's easy to open, easy to 
your clothes. You don't have to mess with the zipper. You know, kids can go in and out super simple and easily. And so I personally just love what they have done. Now, when the ramp is dropped, you also, of course, have your party deck as you would expect. I mean, you know, if you're starting getting premium toy haulers, it's all about the deck life, right? So you drop that out, you're good to go. You have the steps right here, so that way you can enter and exit right from that party ramp if you so choose. Of course, you also have another entrance right here into the garage. While we're looking at the garage, you can see a couple things. Um, you know, it, it is an insulated garage floor. That's going to be important. Uh, one of the quick and easy ways to tell, just to give you a little piece of knowledge, right? If we take a look at the difference right here. So, you know, your RV floors will normally be insulated. If you come into the garage and the garage is lower than what the main floor is, there's a good chance your garage isn't insulated. The garage floor isn't. And if you plan on having people stay back here, which, you know, you have two queen beds, chances are you're probably going to have people sleeping back here. I personally would want a garage floor, uh, uh, insulated garage floor if it's getting cold out. And this one will have that. You also see the D-rings, the tie downs all the way around, big heavy duty tie downs. Uh, roll over sofas, if you haven't seen them before. You know, they're pretty common in the industry. They, they roll over, just like the name implies, into a bed. So just like that, you'll do the same thing on the other side to get the bed here. When you lift these up, you can have it lift up, you know, in bed form if you want. Just like this, it'll go right up underneath the bed. Both those will lift all the way up to the ceiling. That will give you maximum width. If you need the maximum width of the garage, that's the way to do it. If you need a little more height, like you have a golf cart with, you know, the top on it, something like that, you can drop the sofas down to the side and it, it won't, you know, of course, there'll be a little bit uh, extra on the side here, so you won't get as much width, but you will get a little more height. So uh, it does give you some versatility in how you want to pack your toys in here. Now, a couple quick things. If we take a look up at the ceiling, I want to point out, you'll see electrical outlets on the ceiling. You know, they, they're thinking about people right here. If, if you're sleeping up there, you probably still have a cell phone. It probably still needs to be charged at night. That's when I charge mine. So this gives you the capability to do that. You also see an AC unit up here. Folks, one of the great things about Raptor is they are one of the few brands that use the Omni Chill AC system where this unit actually has three ACs and all three are able to run simultaneously. That's something that normally isn't possible, but they have like a nice soft start, you know, low power consumption. So they're able to run all three, which really gives you super efficient cooling all the way through here, even on the hottest days. So, you know, sometimes again, you, you get what you pay for. The Raptor certainly isn't the least expensive unit out there, but you get top end amenities. And, and we do have excellent pricing. I mean, this one, you know, it, it sleeps eight, you're a little under 15,000 pounds dry. So nice and big. 43 foot, six inches long. And this one is starting at under $81,000, which is about 16 bucks and 20 cents a day. Another big thing too, when we talk about toy haulers, folks, if you want to get out there, right, you want to be off the grid, this one can do it too. You have a 106 gallon fresh tank, uh, which, you know, again, isn't super uncommon for a lot of toy haulers to have big fresh tanks, but a lot of times they tend to fall off on the gray and black. This one has 82 gallon gray, 82 gallon black. So huge tanks all the way around. Uh, if we flip it around, I do want to show you some quick stuff up here. There's so much to talk about on this RV. I'm afraid I'm going to run out of time, but we have storage on both sides here, electrical outlets, TV right there in the center, washer dryer hookup. So if you want a washer and dryer, you can certainly have that in here too. And you will see right here is a half bath porcelain bowl. You have the faucet there and we'll see in just a second. You have two entrances into this bathroom here. Now, bear in mind, folks, when we talk about toy haulers, this doesn't have to be for someone that has a side by side or quads or motorcycles. If you just have a big family and you have a lot of stuff that you want to bring, you know, maybe you need to, to sleep eight people and you want to bring eight bicycles. That's a tough thing to do a lot of times, but with a toy hauler, you have all this storage space. We can put all those bikes and still be able to have space for everyone to sleep in here. Uh, and so, you know, don't count a toy hauler out just because you don't have toys. You know, bicycles or anything else can still be considered a toy. Let me kind of move this to the side here for you, Kevin. This is the ladder so we can climb up into the loft. If you're able to come through and actually spin around, I'll show everyone real quick. So right up top there is a loft again, and that is part of that extra sleeping capacity. You have the ladder to be able to climb right up in there. Uh, now, if we take a look at our camp side, you'll see a couple different things. One is a really nice pullout pantry. You can see that right there. You can see it's beautifully finished inside. You know, it's not rough. I, I love that they actually finished that off. Um, and then you will see the Norcold 
18 cubic foot fridge freezer. Now, one of the things I love about this one, folks, is that this one does run off both electric and propane. A lot of times when you start getting into, you know, an 18 cubic foot fridge, you're into residential only. And, you know, maybe you don't want to have to run your generator to run your fridge. Well, with this one, you don't have to. You can use that propane to keep everything nice and cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Theater seats here as well. I, <laughs> it sounds funny when I say it, but you know, it wouldn't be a toy hauler without theater seats, right? Seems like just about every floor plan out there has them. Um, but for good reason. They're super comfortable, especially, you know, if you are out riding toys after a hard day's riding, you're going to want something that's nice and soft to sit on. This right here will be exactly that. Uh, you'll see that you have a spot for remotes there, some cup holders. Those are, uh, these light up. They also have massage and heat features, which are cool. Now, we'll get to the rest of the living area in a second. Before we do, I do want to touch on the kitchen. L-shaped kitchen, solid surface countertops, nice big sink, plenty of storage all the way around here. A spot for the trash can. You'll see that the countertop lights up, just absolutely gorgeous. Good spot here for a coffee maker off to the side. You know, plenty of kitchen storage all the way throughout, including storage underneath the oven. Now, as I mentioned, I said you had dual access to the bathroom, and so you have this right here. Now, uh, the reason I do like this, they didn't have to put a door here. They could have uh, put nothing. I should probably show you this too. Storage up top, right? Big storage, hard to access. You'll definitely need a step stool because toy haulers have such high ceilings, but at least they gave you storage there. Uh, but the reason I like this is, you know, if you don't want to go upstairs or maybe you have bad knees, it's hard to get up and down stairs. You have a bathroom that is on the main floor, which is pretty cool. So I do really enjoy that. So, you know, if you're sitting here, you just want to get up and use that, you can. Uh, you know, we'll see the other bathroom in just a second. But I like that they at least gave you that option, didn't just leave it a plain wall. Now, the rest of the uh, living area, right, because it is a mid-living, is right here. You get the, you know, kind of L-shaped lounge area. Super comfy, big windows letting in a ton of natural light, huge slide heights. Another big advantage of toy haulers, folks. Take a look at this slide height, right? If, you've, if you're a tall person and you're sick of getting out of a, a sofa and hitting your head on a slide, consider a toy hauler. With slides like this in the main living area, there's no way you're going to be knocking your head on that. Taking a look here, entertainment center, big TV, multimedia center right there with some speakers. And, of course, you have the fireplace underneath, plus a central vac to help vacuum everything up, keep everything nice and clean. Talked about bad knees. I love this, too. Take a look. You have a built-in grab handle to be able to get up the stairs. The in-command system is a fantastic touchscreen system. You can run everything on here, generators, awning, lights, uh, auto level. Everything can be done right from there. Now we step into the main bathroom. You'll see porcelain toilet, right? Kind of right down there. Porcelain, of course, being nice and easy to clean. Plenty of space. The shower, you can see, you know, if I stand in there, again, I have good head height here. So even, you know, being 6'3", 6'4", I'd still be able to stand in there. Beautiful shower surround, which for the record, that's a one-piece shower. So less chance for any kind of leaks, which is definitely, I know, a big concern. If, in, unless you've had a remodel at home, chances are you have a one-piece shower in your home. And so you know the value of having a one-piece and probably how long you've had that shower or tub and know that, uh, you know, you haven't had any issues. It'll be the same here. Kind of a, almost a cool, like, uh, living... A rock edge on there, right? Uh, just, you know, kind of a neat design. Living rock, that, that sounds oxymoronic, I guess. But um, there, you know, so you say living wood. I don't know what else you want to call it, but it's kind of a cool rock edge. You can see that there. And then we come into the bedroom, folks. Last couple things I want to touch on. You do have slide out wardrobe space, so plenty of space right up there. Storage all the way around, nightstands, and there's a TV at the foot of the bed if you want that as well. Plus that third AC right there in the bedroom with its own separate thermistor, so you're able to control it. I'm telling you, folks, from the inside out this thing is absolutely loaded let's start right up front one of the big things with toy haulers is generators i have a lot of people that ask me hey can i get an rv with the generator well i'm here to tell you unless it's a toy hauler ah uh, chances are pretty low right we're talking about towables uh, you know if you, there are some fifth wheels some of your higher end fifth wheels where you can get generators but especially travel trailers folks if you want a travel trailer with the generator so look at the toy haulers. Again, even if you don't have toys, it's still an excellent option. Dropping down right underneath here, coming zone in 5,500 watt, folks. There it is. That bad boy will power everything in here. Now, you'll also see two 30-pound propane tanks. You know, as I said, that fridge can run off propane. If you want to do so, you're going to want to make sure you have a lot. That'll do it. 
You get some storage right in here, your in-command system with the brain box will be there as well. Let's make our way around back. There's a lot I want to touch on on this one too, folks. This one has auto level. Touch a button, it levels itself out. Super simple. Outside speakers. You can see the auto level right here, right? There's, there's your jack. Moride CRE 3000 suspension system. That will give you three inches of travel, helping to take out a lot of those bumps in the road, giving you a nice smooth ride. Uh, triple axle with weight like this, you definitely want the triple axle. This one has about 3,800 pounds of cargo carrying capacity, by the way, in case you're wondering. And you can put 3,000 of that in the garage. So again, if you have a lot of stuff you want to put back there, no issues at all. Backup camera comes standard. You have an awning on the back. So when you're living that deck life, you can put that awning out. And on the other side, you have a fuel fill station over here, folks. 60 gallons of fuel. So if you do have those toys and you want to fill it up, you are going to be good to go with this bad boy. And if you're interested in this beautiful Raptor, all you have to do is text the word RV to 46642. Sooner or later, everyone's bound to encounter someone in need. If you're one of the stopping kind, chances are it was passed down. Hey, Mom. Some good that you observed from early on. Call it going the extra mile or paying it forward. We just call it being good. Spend a lifetime doing good. Thank you. Because the next generation is watching. Demand for RVs is at historic levels, which is why we are working around the clock to bring you over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. That's the largest selection of RVs in the world. Fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. RVs are made by Americans for Americans. And now you can see America for less. Shop over 80,000 factory fresh RVs starting at just $5 a day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. We've actually used a good SAM uh, navigation system, which where you can plug in the length, the height, and the weight of your RV, and it'll give you a safe route to travel. If you want to, you can plan your meals well ahead of time and make sure you have everything you need for your whole RV trip. You can literally get everything you need, have your RV packed, and not have to worry about stopping at stores to pick up anything. I'm Brianna. And I'm Craig. And we're from Crazy Family Adventure. Today we'll be covering how to plan the ultimate RV family road trip. All right, folks, and here we go. Another toy hauler with a great garage. This one also coming in at 13 foot. Folks, this is the Forest River XLR Boost 37 TSX 13. Now, here's the cool thing about being Camping World. See, is we have a huge assortment of RVs and inventory that we can get. I mean, you know, if you've been watching the show, you know that we have over 80,000 pieces that are on order. We have over 20,000 pieces that are on our lots. Again, more coming in every single day. And the cool thing is, as we go through some of these, you'll start to see some of the differences. And the fact that when it, we're talking about RVs, there truly is something for everyone, from every budget to every lifestyle. Now, we saw the Raptor, and that's a beautiful, absolutely gorgeous toy hauler. You know, big triple axle, it's a monster, has, you know, it's loaded to the gills with amenities, but it's also a little bit pricier. So what if you want a big toy hauler, you still want that 13-foot garage, you want great living space, but maybe you want something that's a little bit less expensive, something a little bit more budget-friendly. Well, that is where this boost comes in, folks, because you can pick this one up for a starting at under $50,000, which is under seven bucks a day. And as we go through, I think you'll agree with me, that is a pretty great deal for what you're getting. So let's start off right here on the back. So one of the first things right away that I love, and I talk about this all the time, is the fact this one has the party deck. And that's something, at least for me, when I'm talking about toy haulers, is very important. So that's one of the things I love. Mind you get all the garage space for all your goodies, or you know, for any toys or extra cargo that you wanna bring with you. You get all that extra sleeping space, but you also get that party deck. So you can drop that back. You have the more ride system to make sure that's all enclosed so no one's falling off and hurting themselves after a cocktail or two, or if you have littles running around, right, they're not running off and again, getting injured. Uh, up top, of course, is that queen bed, and on the sides, the rollover sofa. And just like we saw in the Raptor, if you want, these can flip up and lock in place to give you a little more width. 
Right now we have this one maximized for height. And as I said, this is still a 13 foot garage. You can see the D-rings all around. So if you do have toys, you can lock them down. Or again, let's say you have a bunch of bikes in here. Great, put a bunch of bicycles. You can lock all those down, totes, whatever else you need. Some of your bigger items, grills, chairs, all of that can fit right back here. Washer dryer. Still good to go. There it is, folks. You have washer dryer prep, no problem at all. Now, right here is the half bath. Now, if you notice, a little bit different than what we had in the Raptor, because you know the Raptor had that entrance from the kitchen. Here we don't have that, but that's okay. The main point is the fact you still have a half bath that's easily accessible from the garage, and you have, of course, the second entrance to the garage. So, you know, if you just want to head right back in and use that, you can, or if you're hanging out on the party deck, great. Head right in, use that, you're good to go. Coming on through here, you'll see the big glass door. It's absolutely gorgeous when we step into the living area. Again, we get a little bit different layout than what we had before. So instead of theater seats, this one goes to essentially a sofa. You still have the armrests. And if you notice in the armrests, these ones also have the light, the massage, and the heat function. So you're not losing out there. USB port so you can charge your phones. Uh, but nice and comfortable. These do recline. They do kick back. So, you know, again, you get the, the theater seats or the recliners here. And you just have a great shot to the TV. You can see that right here. Um, you know, so if you want to watch something, you have the ability to do it. Fireplace underneath. Able to keep your toes nice and toasty there. Uh, you'll also, if you come right in here, second Kevin, one of the cool things about this floor plan, turn around, show them up top. Take a look at that loft. So you have the loft space, but that loft goes all the way around and back over here. And you have this net, which I currently have uh, undone, but you have all this extra storage up here too, which is pretty cool. So if you need to get up there, um, you know, you have the access, plus you have sleeping space up there. So they really did a good job of utilizing some of that space up top. While we're over here, I'm gonna show you, you get a nice big pantry in this layout, right? You gotta have, some, chances are you're gonna have a lot of people, you gotta have a spot to store your food, and that's exactly what you get here. And then the countertop, plenty of countertop space. You know, you have this peninsula, and so you have prep space here, prep space here. You still have enough space for a coffee maker if you want a coffee maker. High rise faucet, upgraded countertops, undermount stainless steel bowl in there. You can see plenty of drawer space and it's nice deep drawers here as well. So if you have some of those bigger items, you're able to fit them in there. You know, good spot for pots and pans underneath the sink and then more uh, drawers right over to the side plus additional storage here up top. So I think they did a good job, you know, giving you some ample kitchen storage and ample prep space. Right over to the side is our Norcold fridge freezer combo. We'll open that guy up for you so you can take a look. Again, plenty of uh, storage in that one too for some of your cold items. That center shelf does kind of uh, fold back up on itself. So if you have some taller items, you can fit them in there. Net up top here, more prep space, another electrical outlet. So if you didn't want the coffee maker there, you want it here, boom, you're all set. Recess, three burner cooktop, that glass cover. Again, if you want to prep here, you have all this space to do it. You need to cook, no worries, just flip this up and back. That front one's high output. So if you have high altitude, need to boil some water, that's the one you're going to want to use. Oven underneath, got to do some bacon, great. You also see the shelf there, plus you have this big storage. I mean, that's great for any pots and pans again, right? Big, huge storage space right there. So, you know, as you can see, you're getting a lot here. You get the 13 foot garage. It's uh, pre-wired for solar, I should mention. Uh, has a spot for a solar controller in the garage if you want it. Big loft area, AC right up top here too, of course. You know, you have dual AC helping to keep everything uh, nice and cool. And then you have the big countertop. So, you know, you may not have three ACs like you had in the Raptor, but again, you know, we're, we're at a lower price point. You know, this one is a, a much lower barrier to entry. You're looking to get out there. You want something that's still really nice, but you know, again, maybe a little more affordable. The Boost is definitely the one, folks. Grab this handrail, come on up. You can see here, this is the control for your generator. Um, you know, this is kind of my, my only uh, complaint, I guess, is I wish it wouldn't have been quite so low and in, in next to a handrail. Uh, makes me just kind of want to accidentally hit it. Now, it's not going to cause any harm, right? I mean, you have to hold it to start it. Um, but, you know, for littles and stuff, if you have littles in here, I just don't want them messing with the generator. Not a huge thing, just a, a little a personal thing on my behalf. You know, like anyone else, folks, when, when I look at RVs, right, I, I draw from my experiences, right? Like, I, I picture myself in the RV, like, okay, how would this work for me? You know, how would this work? And I think of my, my five-year-old daughter who's going to run around and go, ooh, <laughs> but that's me, right? Uh, so, so very different for a lot of other people. 
We come in here, you have, again, ample storage space there for your towels, just roll them up, set them all up in there. Toilet space, I'll take a seat here, six foot, a little over 200 pounds. You can see I have plenty of room, no problems for this shower. Again, just to show you, when I step in here, no problem at all, folks. Don't have to duck down. I am good to go. I have the skylight, you know, so if you're 6'2", maybe 6'3", you know, you're Chris Young height, you can stand in here, no problem, shower off. No issues at all. And then mirrored medicine cabinet there. Big countertop, too. That, that I do want to talk about because I love that. And because it is upgraded countertop, it allows them to undermount that stainless steel bowl. Then, of course, you will also see that you have some storage under there. It's also worth mentioning there's a heat vent in here, folks. You have heat and AC plus your uh, max air fan. So, you know, whether it's, it's hot out, whether it's cold out, you're going to have excellent climate control there in the bathroom. Then we step up into the bedroom. You'll notice storage all across the top here. You have some shelves over on one side with USB ports plus an electrical outlet right there. A couple more USB ports over here plus an electrical outlet there and your wardrobe. Now, now what you'll notice is I don't have quite the head height here, right? You know, you see it does kind of start to duck down a little bit. Not a big deal. It just, you know, helps take a little bit of weight out of it. But just remember, that, you know, when you're going to get in and out of bed, you might not be able to stand up. At six foot tall, I do have to duck a little. You also see your second AC, again, as I mentioned, helping to keep things nice and cool. Right over there is another wardrobe. So a couple different wardrobes, be able to hang your clothes. You have a nice set of drawers right down here. And if you want a TV, this is where it'll be mounted. Excuse me, this is where you'll mount it here in the bedroom. So if you want to watch a show before bed, you're able to do that. And remember, folks, this one is starting at under $50,000, which is super impressive. Uh, just a, an absolute excellent deal for such a big machine. As we take a step outside, you can see the upgraded steps here. The more rides step above, step system, aluminum treads. You have the grip tape, which on a day like today where I have you know, a lot of slush on the bottom of my feet, it actually does a pretty good job of giving me some extra traction. Adjustable feet on the bottom, so you can adjust that to uh, you know, whatever campsite you may have. And then as we come around front, Right here is generator prep. So if you want a generator, this is where it will go. You'll see the cutout right here. Uh, all the pre-wiring and everything is already done. So makes it nice and easy to pop one right in there. If you ever think you may want a generator, folks, this goes for any RV and generator prep is an option, you should get it because it takes a lot of work to even do the prep. But just remember, even if it has the prep, a lot of times there's still a lot of stuff they have to do to put the generator in. So if you want one, getting one from the manufacturer may not be a bad idea, but if, you know, if that's not an option, then definitely get one with the prep, especially when we're talking about toy haulers. Propane here, let me see, open that up for you. So you can see there you have one tank here, another tank on the other side, opening this guy up, magnetic catch, Taking a look there, so you'll see, you know, uh, uh, storage it has a motion sensor light in there. Not a huge storage compartment, but again, we have that huge garage in the back, so it's not really a make it or break it, at least for me. Taking a look up top, power awning with LED lights. We'll have another one on the back. We'll see in just a moment. A couple different speakers. You have one right up here and another one in the back, right? So that way, uh, you know, you're getting that, getting that stereo sound coming through, right? That. Uh, so that way it actually sounds stereo. Sometimes they put them right next to each other. It just sounds like one big speaker. It's very mono, so it's nice having them split like that. You'll also see right down underneath triple axle right there. If you want to hook up a TV, this is where you'll hook it up at connections there too. Now, again, as I mentioned, we were inside. This one does have the second entrance, so you can enter right into the garage. And on the very back here is a leash latch, so if you have any uh, pets, you can hook them up right there. And if you take a look up at the very top again, we have that power awning. So when that power awning is out, it will shade them. Uh, quick, We'll quickly talk about the back here, but pretty easy, you know, pretty standard ramp door right here just lock it if you need to lock anything up and then up top you have an led light as well as your backup camera prep and remember folks as i mentioned this one does have the party deck so folks if you're looking for toy haulers there are so many differences and i just wanted to kind of show you you know that it doesn't matter what budget you're looking at you know or, or what's going to be right for you there is an option out there we have an rv for you whether you want to spend ninety thousand, if you want to spend forty thousand twenty thousand you know or, or maybe it doesn't matter maybe you're up into the hundred and fifty thousand. we have toy haulers that will hit all those price points, different amenities. We can get different floor plans, different weights, double axle, triple axle, over 20,000 here on the lots, over 80,000 coming
coming. All you have to do is text the word FRESH to 46642. Introducing RV123 by Camping World, the only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at CampingWorld.com and schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step two, make it mine. Discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. All paperwork handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes are provided. Step three, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with RV123 by Camping World. Camping World is the one-stop shop for all your outdoor essentials. Shop chairs and side tables starting at only $9.99 and patio lights starting at $10.99. Grills for only $9.99? Who knew travel could be so easy? Your vacation just got a little brighter, a little tastier, and a little cozier. See America for less when you shop at Camping World. They say life is about the little things, those moments we unplug, packing up the camper after a long week, making room for new memories. You and me, we meant to be in the great outdoors. If you've wandered the mountains or ridden the trail, if you've discovered beauty that's left you speechless or laughed like you haven't laughed in years, if the food tastes remarkably better and the friendship is somehow deeper, you've probably been camping. You and me were meant to be It's the best America has to offer, and it's meant to be shared. RVing is for everyone. Sean Parr hanging out with Bryce Jersey, uh, Jergy, and Bryce, all, of, all I want to do is go fishing. You know, we were ice fishing last week in Minneapolis, and uh, we've been snowed in for, what, two, three weeks now? And all I want to do is go catch a largemouth bass. I want to be in one of our beautiful kayaks from a Gander RV Outdoor or Camping World and just be on a river somewhere because you yes. see all this great footage. Matter of fact, we're going to talk about winter camping coming up in just a moment. We are. We are. Yeah, I, I know. Seeing that last spot, I'm just like, I just want to get out. Yeah. And hopefully you guys are feeling that. There's just so much, so many future memories that are going to happen as you get one of these rigs or any of the equipment here that's provided. And you know, we talk about winter a lot because we are, uh, you know, wherever we are right now, being in Wichita, Kansas, and uh, it Where being cold, they've had record temperatures here that they haven't <laughs> seen in decades. Yeah. A lot of the locals have been telling us, and we've experienced that on this tour. We're gonna to continue that as we go to Portland, and then we uh, end up in Mesa, Arizona in a couple of weeks, and we look forward to that. But it's almost spring. I mean, I, I can see it out there. You know, you start Feel looking it. ahead at some of those temperatures, and we got to get spring and RV season ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just amped. I'm excited for that. Yeah, and here's the cool thing: we're going to get into what we like to call our staff pick, and I know that Nellie is all about this too because uh, she had a chance to preview this. But our staff pick is one that we think that you will really enjoy inside and out. We're going to take a look at the Forest River Saber, and this is the 37 FLH. Take a look. Hey everybody, I am Ian Baker and I'm joined by my good friend Kenda. And as we start to wind down this amazing week, we of course couldn't finish it off without doing our staff pick. And Kenda here has picked an awesome unit. We have the Sabre 37 FLH. Kenda, <laughs> wonderful pick. Tell me a little bit about it. Why'd you pick this one? Ah, uh, what's not to love? It has <laughs> That's everything. true. That it is true. It has everything. I'm super excited. There's so much storage space. 
I can bring all my shoes. Yes. <laughs> I, I like shoes. Hey, there's nothing wrong with I that. I don't know if it's going to be rainy, whatnot. There so you go. I always bring everything. That way you can dress for the occasion, right? I just, I always bring everything. And so I have room to do that. Um, yeah. So that's one of the things I like. And it's just so easy with that auto level. Uh, all of yes. those things that normally my husband has to really work at. <laughs> uh, now he can relax. There you go. Well, well that's, that's one of the things I do love. And, and what Kendra was talking about is right here, the auto level. And again, Kendra, I agree that I love it. You just touch a button. It does mm -hmm. everything else for you. You don't have to worry about it. Um, it just really does kind of simplify the process, right? Of having to get out there. Mm -hmm. And because that's the last thing you want to worry about when you're right. setting up. You know, you drop, you don't have to, man, you can just walk right underneath yeah, there. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to worry about anything, just touch a button and you are good to go. Um, Absolutely. And, and what do you think about the exterior? How do you like the colors here? I love the colors and I just like the name Sabre. Right? Just, it has a catchy ring to it. Yeah, it does. Um, it's just a super sleek. I love mm -hmm. that it has five slides. Okay. Um, I love the outdoor kitchen. Uh, yeah. I just think it looks cool. Yeah, it's got a lot I agree. Of cool lights and stuff like that. Now, do you have a pet at all? I have three dogs. See, yeah. there you go. So the leash mm -hmm. latch is perfect, right? Absolutely. You can put the dogs right there. They're underneath the awnings. They mm -hmm. have a little bit of shade. Maybe, mm -hmm. you know, hide underneath the stairs. Plenty of room right there. Absolutely. Open this guy up. Take a look at some of the storage. Mm -hmm. And so one of the other things, Kenda, uh, that I really like is uh -huh. the slide system, right? So we have the Schwintech slide system on mm -hmm. here. And I like it because you have your control box right here. Yeah. So that way, That's you know, awesome. in the in the event it ever fails, mm -hmm. you have the controls to be able to, you can basically switch these around to reverse the motors, which a lot of times will fix it. Otherwise, oh, cool. you can pop a code, hit that six times, hold it on the seventh, it'll tell you exactly what's wrong. So you can call mm -hmm. in and you'll be able to get that slide right in in no time. So from That's a, awesome. yeah, from a, you know, a maintenance standpoint, I guess, or a troubleshooting standpoint, you know, they, they definitely do some mm -hmm. great things on the slide systems. Yeah. So you're just not going to be worried about being out somewhere and not being able to, to get your slides in. Right. Um, without having to rely on somebody else. So. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. And, and this is a, this is a big unit. I mean, we're like uh, a little over 42 foot on this one. Mm -hmm. As far as weight, what do we have for weight? Uh, 12, a little under 12,000 pounds is what we're looking at. So mm -hmm. yeah, you know, I mean, whether it's the slide system, whether it's the, the auto leveling, we want to make sure we're not going to be stuck out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, they definitely do some things to aid in that. Now, I know you talked about the outside kitchen. Walk yeah. me through a little bit about what we got back here. Well, one of the things that I really love, and I do kind of mention it to my, point it out to my customers. Yeah. So the awning kind of ends right here. Yes. And I just remember once a customer came in and they were kind of brought down because they didn't think about, they had no shade for their outside kitchen. So sure. they were, you know, so I remembered that. And so I always point that out, that even if your awning doesn't stretch you still have this plus yes. it, it helps with rain yeah everything absolutely. else it's kind of that little mm -hmm. drizzle and then i really like how residential the outside kitchen is yeah i mean they for could, sure it's I, I like that they took the time to um go with the champagne tone brush nickel on the on yes. the kitchen hardware it's, it's beautiful they could have went with chrome but they you know want something a little nicer there well i noticed like even like the the dark sink and, mm -hmm. and some of the other things are just unique to the Sabre where yeah. everyone else has got like stainless steel or whatnot, right. which is nice, but for sure. it just makes it pop, I think. Yeah, no, I agree. And you know, it's, it's stone cast, so it's going to be nice and strong, uh, very durable. You're not going to see scratches as easy oh, as you would true. on something that's like stainless. And mm -hmm. the shiplap wall, I talked about being I residential, like I kind of like that look yeah. too on the outside kitchen. Absolutely. It's pretty sharp. Yep. And then, uh, you know, the, the quick connect. So if you are grilling or anything, mm -hmm. you know, that's what makes it, of course, the full kitchen there. Yeah, my husband loves that feature. <laughs> For sure. He likes to cook his meat. You gotta that, have meat. You have to, right? Have I, I'm Absolutely. the same way. I love cooking outside. <laughs> yeah. You know, I love grilling. Hook my mm -hmm. grill up right there and mm -hmm. fire away. It makes it easy, too, with the propane. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, on the back, there is a 300-pound hitch back there, too. So if you ever need to bring anything along, mm -hmm. um, you know, like extra bikes and put a bike rack in there, anything like that. Uh, yeah. So there's definitely some great extra features, but mm -hmm. I don't know about you, Kenda. I'm getting a little chilly. Should we head inside? I think check we it, should. Check out the inside? Let's go to the... Uh, let's head fire. on in. I know the fireplace is going to be awesome. <laughs> That's all right. I love the stairs coming up, too. The more ride steps, mm -hmm. nice and stable. You know, I mean, I, I'm not a small guy. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm well over 200 pounds, and those steps, you know, I don't feel them flex as I'm, I'm walking up and down, which right. I like. Absolutely. And this... This is what it's all about. It. This is where it's at. You talked about kicking back mm -hmm. and relaxing, getting nice and Absolutely. comfy. I love the feature, the little accent lights. Yes. I just, I don't know. I get excited about those lights. Yeah. And they're, they're everywhere. 
It, it, it adds it adds a lot to just the overall appeal, you know, just the overall mm -hmm. aesthetic. Um, mm -hmm. You know, having that in, behind the the trim, behind your molding there, you know, it it does a couple things. And I, and I talk about this a lot. Like I, for one, I like having a lot of light. Mm -hmm. um, you know, especially when it's nighttime. I don't like when an RV feels dark when I feel closed in. Mm -hmm. And so anything you can do to add more light makes me a happy person. And and not only does it make it brighter, but like you said, it just mm -hmm. adds a lot to the the appeal itself. The ambiance. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Absolutely. And then another thing I like, you know, the zebra shades kind of mm -hmm. aid in that too, right? Because, you mm -hmm. know, you can kind of adjust the amount of light you want. Yeah, cool. And it's just stylish too. Instead of just the plain, yes. you know, no curtains, just your blackout. It's like stylish and functional. Yeah, correct. Which makes perfect. Mm -hmm. Now, I know we talked earlier about, um, you know, about the, the tri-fold sofas. And, mm -hmm. you know, what kind of one of the neat things about having the front living is if you want mm -hmm. the, uh, you know, to have people stay the night, you mm -hmm. have the ability to do it. Right. If you don't want them to stay the night, you, you just don't tell them yeah. it's beds. <laughs> well, I have a lot of customers that talk about that. No, we don't want any bunks or extra beds. And people will just want to come all the time. Yeah. So now... Um, you, you can tell them that they fold out or not tell them that they fold out. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, and, and you have two. So, I mean, you, know, you mm -hmm. can fold, you can sleep, you know, four adults up here if, if you really needed to, you know, mm -hmm. which uh, I like that from the standpoint of, you know, and I always talk about when I talk about RVs from my experience, right? So, sure. like, like, how it works for me. And, and most people, when they're out shopping, that's kind of they like look at things and it makes sense. Mm -hmm. But for me, you know, if, if uh, you know, like, for grandparents, you know, that may right. have grandkids come and visit them. Right. Well, they're going to need beds for grandkids. They're going to need beds for the kids. And mm -hmm. with something like this, you know, this is still for grandma and grandpa. Mm -hmm. But when the kids come, you have a spot for them to sleep. Right. And what I love, too, is like even like your older kids. Mm -hmm. um, it's hard for me to get my son. He's work goes to school working. Yep. So if he comes with, I just treasure the moments that we can sit in here and watch a movie with him. Yeah. And stuff like that. So movie night's great. I love it. <laughs> and then yeah, you know, nice big TV too. You mm -hmm. know, speaking of movie night, um, yeah, the big TV there, of course, mm -hmm. multimedia center. You can just hook up a Blu-ray player, or whatever, to it. The fireplace, mm -hmm. getting nice and toasty. I it's, like the colors too. You can change yeah. the colors. Yeah, here I'll let me hit it real quick here. Oh, see if yeah. we can. There it's we go. It's all about the little bit of that, yeah. or go full blue. Right couple different color options there yeah, it's pretty I think, cool i think that's awesome and it's warm too yeah yeah like it's absolutely. not just pretty it really does heat yeah for sure and then you know right here this is probably my favorite seat of the house right if i had to pick somewhere to be right i don't know what you can do but this is me right here theater seats mm -hmm. have the massage on have the heat on kick absolutely. back relax like you say perfect for movie night mm -hmm. and when it's cold out like this i love that you can be inside and there are so many windows you can look yes. at the pretty snow yes you can have your fire you can be in in your heated chair with have your, your dog hot, snuggled up in hot here. chocolate and your doggies i mean man, you're, paint, you're painting an awful beautiful picture man that's <laughs> that's what i love oh uh, yeah absolutely and then uh, up here, this is something that's a little bit newer too. You know, we talk about kind of having that that movie night, having that home theater experience. Mm -hmm. And they have a subwoofer in here, which oh is gosh. yeah, which is something that you know a lot of wow. times you don't get in an RV. So you have a little bit better sound system in there too. So mm -hmm. it makes movie night just a little bit better. For sure. Well, should we head down into the kitchen? Okay, let's yeah. do it. And I like these curtains too. Yes. Yeah. That, right. Like like you kind of said, it, it's stylish. It's not mm -hmm. too much, right? Mm -hmm. It's like just right. You have the AC unit up top with a yep. quick dump option right there. And a ceiling fan. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And as we as we make our way back, I mean, this is another cool thing. So, how many slides total does this unit have? This unit has five slides. Okay. Okay. Because we yes, we have two mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Two here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And one of the cool things about this is the fact that you have your dinette or your uh, freestanding table and chairs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of in its own little uh, its own little slide here. And they're you got comfortable. Got windows all the way around. They're comfortable too. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, can sit down here, and, and, and you have enough room. You know, mm -hmm. you have plenty of room if you have four people here. Absolutely. You want to play games, you want to play cards, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. have the ability to do it. And, uh, I mean, beautiful kitchen. I like that they just, everywhere you look, there's the accent lighting. Yeah. Um, I've, I'm in love with the windows. Most yeah, of, right up top there. I, hardly ever do you see the uh, the skylight-type windows yeah. um, in, the, in the middle, in the center kitchen. But I love that extra natural light. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And it, de it definitely brightens it up during the day. Beautiful light fixtures here. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous, solid surface countertops. And mm -hmm. like you said, that, that accent lighting, right? Absolutely. I'm all about the lighting. <laughs> I, I hear you. <laughs> it, it, really, it really helps kind of set it apart. It makes it feel homey and yeah. just comfortable um, and cozy. Yeah. Yep, for sure. And I love the color of the sink. I do too. So I, I, I'm glad you mentioned it, right? That's... 
One of the things, um, and I, I believe they call it like a black stainless steel, right? And nice. I, you're starting to see it a little bit more on the residential end with mm -hmm. some of the refrigerators and other appliances. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad that the RV industry is, is starting yeah. to adopt it and bring it in. Absolutely. Because um, I, I, I think it's really sharp. I just it think definitely... it's totally cool. Yeah. And you have the, the hand sanitizing stations. Yes. Well. Yes. It's, and that's, as we know, <laughs> you know, more than ever right now, mm -hmm. super important. It comes, mm -hmm. you know, comes built in right there, makes it nice and easy. Mm -hmm. Great prep space here, good storage all around. Look at all the pantries. Like yeah. how, many, how many pantries are there? Yeah, right, right. You got, wow. I mean, this That's thing is one. absolutely massive right here. So you can see you have pl a ton of storage here. And, and one of the things, Kenda, that I really like uh -huh. when manufacturers do is they don't bring the shelves all the way oh, the forward. the light came on. Motion sensor light. I love that. Um, I like when they don't bring the shelves all the way forward because it gives you a place if you have like a Swiffer, broom, or something oh, like that. cool. It still gives you a place to put it because normally those, you know, mm -hmm. really tall items, you just don't have a spot to put them. That is amazing. I never realized that, but yeah. I definitely will pass that on to my customers. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <clears throat> and I like, you know, I, again, I, I kind of yeah. like when the light is on, mm -hmm. how, you know, it kind of lights that up. It mm -hmm. gives it a cool effect. Yeah, totally. Plenty of space, you know, throughout. Mm -hmm. You got, again, more countertop space here. Mm -hmm. Three burner cooktop. We saw mm -hmm. that inverter out front, and that oh, is yeah. dedicated to the fridge. That's a real refrigerator, too. Yes, it is. Residential style mm -hmm. refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Whoop, it's still, mm -hmm. I think it's still taped shut. It, oh, oh, there, there we, we go. go. Got it. Yeah, so brand two, new. <laughs> two freezers. Yes. You can pack that puppy up and not have to come back to town for quite a while. Th there you go. And that, that can be an important thing for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I love the stainless. I just like the mixture of like the the dark uh, stainless with the regular. Yes. It's just that mixture of, you know, country and city to come yeah. together and make it really, really uh, chic and cozy and happy. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Um, you know, because... A lot of manufacturers, and that's one of the things, you know, I, I appreciate. I think Sabre did very well. It's a lot of manufacturers are going a lot lighter. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes the units almost look washed out. And, yeah. you know, we've, and I've asked customers and we've done some polls and it's, it's kind of 50, 50 with what people want. Mm -hmm. And, and I like that, you know, you have a little bit more traditional wood, but like you said, they did a great job of bringing together, you know, mm -hmm. some of the contrast, some of the light, lighter and darker colors. Yeah. And they definitely made it work in here. Yeah. It just makes it feel comfortable and, and like you can live in it. Yes. You know, it's not like sterile or too too white or too brown. Yes. Um, you, anybody just feels relaxing. I agree. I agree. And we talked a little bit ago about mm -hmm. a million pantries. I mean, there you go. There's another one, right? Some more space there. You have uh, a little space oh, here. Oh, coffee bar. Yeah, exactly. Yep, coffee that's what bar. I was going to say. It's mm -hmm. perfect for a coffee bar mm -hmm. right there. Uh, USB ports need to mm -hmm. charge anything. More storage. I mean... Mm -hmm. You know, when we talk about front living, you know, one of the things that people, I guess, don't always think about is kitchen space. But you have mm -hmm. a ton a of storage in here. You have a ton there's of prep space. There's more up there. Look yeah, at there, it. There's, there's more storage. Yeah, I right over here. I think there's like four pantries here. Yeah. You have more storage here plus mm -hmm. your charging stations. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, that's, yeah, there's storage all over the place. I love it. And I love that there's charging stations just about everywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, because everybody has their phones and you yep. want to be sure and have everything charged up and ready for the next day's adventures. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. Mm -hmm. I mean, more and more, you know, I mean, we, 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 it's kind of funny, right? Because we always, a lot of people talk about kind of camping and right. RVing and, and glamping, right? To yeah, get away. Um, I like glamping. But, but part of it is we also want to stay connected, right? It, it's Absolutely. hard for us not to. And so, you know, now we're starting to see the trend of, you know, a different uh, Wi-Fi extenders mm -hmm. and, you know, uh, LTE Mm -hmm. um, you know, devices so you can get the Wi-Fi no matter where you're at, mm -hmm. you know, charging stations all throughout for, for mm -hmm. exactly that reason. Yeah, absolutely. Now, what do we have here? Mm, it's a secret surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Is that a half bath? Yes, oh it my is. Thank yeah. goodness. I don't like people coming through into my bathroom. I, I agree. You know? um, especially, yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, you got your personal things in there. And yes. Maybe yes. friends coming and you have to tuck it all away. So yep. I think that's a great idea. No, and, and I, I agree with you, especially with this setup, right, where you have mm -hmm. the bathroom on the other side of the bedroom. Right. Um, you know, I, I, I agree. I, I want a half bath, something that guests can use. I don't want mm -hmm. them to have to walk through my bedroom every single time. Right. Um, it's just, it's just, yeah, there's just something about mm -hmm. it. That's my, it's my personal space. And I love how it doesn't feel like too small, though, with the mm -hmm. high ceiling. I mean, look yes. how that ceiling is so high and it even has a, a skylight up there, too. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, you got a little fan up there. It's probably a good thing. 
Can, yeah. you, can you get it? Oh, 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 there it is. <laughs> yeah, so I still, feel, I still feel like I'm at a hotel almost. I don't feel at all like I'm in like a camper. I feel right. like I'm at a, a nice resort and I have all the comforts that I would want. Well, and it, it, I, I absolutely agree. And we're starting to see, you know, more and more of that too, kind of people that are, you know, starting to live in their RVs, right? Mm -hmm. You know, they're, they're hitting the road. That's, mm -hmm. um, you know, kind of seeing a big movement. And again, especially the last year or two, um, where mm -hmm. people are starting to full time and, and like said, for good reason. I mean, you mm -hmm. look around and you have, you know, everything yeah. you would have at home. You have a big mm -hmm. kitchen, you have solid mm -hmm. surface countertops, mm -hmm. ceiling fans, you know, a mm -hmm. beautiful, um, you know, lighting. I mean, yeah, it's incredible I, what they can do. Absolutely. Yeah, I am. Um, I work with lots of customers that are starting to think about full timing it. And, mm -hmm. and it's definitely not roughing it. No, whatsoever. no, no, I, I would not consider it roughing it in something like this at all. And, and one of my favorite parts kind of is, is mm -hmm. the affordability of this unit too. I mean, absolutely. you know, MSRP on this one's usually right around 80,000, but realistically you should mm -hmm. be able to pick it up for under 60. Yeah. Um, and I mean, it's it, for lu this luxurious and the five slides and the exactly. bath and a half. I mean, that's really amazing that they can do all that. Yeah. Well, you, you, get, you picked a good unit. Mm -hmm. You picked a great one. Oh, good. Let's, let's come, head on back. Let's come to where my bathroom is. <laughs> yeah, so big bedroom space here too. Is that, a, that's a third AC. Is that a third? Yeah, you got lots of ACs. I think it's a second. Is it a, a second? I think it's a second. Well, at least I have it in my it's, bedroom. Yes, yes, that is, that is yeah. absolutely true. Because um, you always want one in your bedroom. If possible. Yes, I, I absolutely agree. Um, because yeah, otherwise, you know, you don't want to sleep when it's hot. <laughs> no, you know? no, no, not at all. So I definitely love that. My favorite thing though is the his and her sinks, and that probably is why I picked this one because I I love the his and well, her sinks. Let's let's go take a all look. Right. Come on back. So this is mine. <laughs> yeah. And that's his. That's we have good space. <laughs> yeah. But and look how like still you just have all this room. And so that's one of the things that, that I always do too, kind of whenever I talk about bathrooms, right, is I, I always do the, the toilet check. I know and you the, do, the showers. I've seen that. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, but I love, your, I love watching your videos. Oh, thank you, I, that's so sweet. I, I really do. So, yeah, so that's, well, because you know. So I, sit I, down, I want yes, to see you do. here we go. I need well, to see the, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm, it. Uh, <laughs> I'm never going to forget this moment. I'm, that's, as I'm sitting <laughs> on the toilet, well, awesome, great memories of me. But I do think of that every time I'm showing <laughs> customer, I make sure that they have room. Well, well that's it. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I've been in a lot of RVs. I've been RVing enough. I mm -hmm. know that sometimes, you know, they're crammed into a corner and right. I, you're kind of doing one of these and it's, it's not what I want to do. So right. I want to make sure, you know, we're, we're giving people the full experience. They're able mm -hmm. to see what, you know, mm -hmm. what you're going to be like here. Absolutely. And make sure you're able to stand in the shower. Stand in the shower. Which, uh, you know. Yeah, there's obviously no yeah, lots of I mean, in I, there. Kendra, I can be, <laughs> be an NBA player and still be able to shower in here. <laughs> yeah, I just love it. It's it's spacious. You can sit down. Mm -hmm. um, I love that it has a huge uh, skylight above there. Yes. So, again, it's just luxury. It's comfortable. I feel like I'm you know, somewhere relaxing on my vacation. Yeah. And I'm not like in a tiny, cramped, dark uh, RV bathroom. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and and, and even the shower, you know, talking about the shower too. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I can, I, I'm fairly broad in the shoulders and, and I can turn sideways no problem in here. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, yeah. it, plenty of space. And you talked about mm -hmm. the seat. One of the things that, and, uh, you know, it was, I don't know, probably five years ago or so that my wife brought up to me, I guess I never thought about. <laughs> was the fact that it's perfect for shaving legs, right? Oh, like, absolutely. Because you can put your leg up there, it makes life mm -hmm. a lot easier. Mm -hmm. I, never occurred to me, but I'm like, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, it's awesome, <laughs> definitely. And if you've had a big long day out hiking and biking, and yeah. even if you're not shaving your legs, yeah. you could still relax there and just, just uh, relax and uh, get all rested up. Kind of and recharge. Get ready to jump into your king size bed. There and, you go. Um, well, life, it, life is good. And I'll tell you, some of my best thoughts happen in the shower. Is that right? Sh oh, some, some of my best ideas are created in the shower. Wow, I'm Sh shower thoughts are a thing, I'm telling you. You're amazing. <laughs> and look how pretty the vanity top is. Yeah. And I have Beautiful. a lot of room. Yeah, all, and all the way around. Most of this is my room, too. No, oh, you get that, too? Mm -hmm. okay, you're stealing all of it from me? I have a lot of stuff. That, that, yeah, that sounds... Uh -huh. All right, I'm I know how prepared. this goes. I get... Yep. Let's see, we'll open this up. I get, I get the top... Maybe the bottom shelf. That's fine. Yeah, that's all you need. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> You're roughing it, not this, me. This sounds all too familiar. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot believe how much space that is. Yeah, so, and, and mm -hmm. I love this too, right? Because you get washer dryer prep. So we talk Absolutely. about people living in it. 
Mm -hmm. And some people, if they're planning on living in an RV, they don't want to have to worry about, you know, going to the laundromat. And this right here yeah. gives you that ability. Now, we found that more people than not mm -hmm. don't get washer and dryer. Mm -hmm. um, but if you want it, you have the ability there. And if you yeah. don't want it, you more just get shoes. a huge wardrobe. More, more, shoes. more shoes. There you go. More shoes. Shoes, shoes, <laughs> shoes. Yeah. I just love there are so many places to put your things yeah. again, and the windows. Uh, and just the little touches, like the valance um, and the and the accent wall, I think it really makes it homey. Yeah. But but upscale homey. It's still a nice sure. vacation. Yeah. And, and even like the the barn style door. Yeah. Yeah. Great touch. It, again, you know, we talk about starting to bring in some of those kind of uh, you know things we start to see in in mm -hmm. the residential side in the homes. You know, the mm -hmm. RVs bringing them in and kind of that farmhouse style right now is definitely taken over and it's it's mm -hmm. beautiful and and like we said you know i don't think they went over the top i think they have no. a good mix a good blend that's here. what makes it that's yep. what makes it that the mixture um that's what makes it feel livable yeah and in a king bed i have a king bed at home mm -hmm. i want a king bed when i rv you mm -hmm. have it here you know, and right? all the dogs fit in there too there, there you go there you go you want a tv you have a tv mm -hmm. right here mm -hmm. at the foot and look that you can put your uh your glass of wine next to your bed there. There you go, now your, you're talking. Your, your reading glasses, whatever yeah. you need. I like that, I think that's super handy. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, yeah, nice little place, like I said, put the phone, glass of wine, just kind of sit back and relax. And I just can't get over how tall the ceilings are. Yeah, no, they are. I mean, it's incredible. Absolutely beautiful. And that, that kitchen, I mean, it, just kind of everything about mm -hmm. this, right? You have mm -hmm. the big front living, mm -hmm. you have the beautiful kitchen, you have an outside kitchen, bath mm -hmm. and a half, uh, Kenda, I think you did an amazing job picking okay. this unit. Again, this is the Sabre 37 FLH. If they want to get a hold of you, if someone sees this, they're like, this is the one, how do they get a hold of you, Kenda? Oh, just uh, give us a call at Gander RV here in Wichita, Kansas, uh -huh. and, and just ask for Kenda. Perfect. The glamping lady. The glamping lady. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Kenda, thank you so much. Oh, thank I you. I appreciate it. It's been super fun. Awesome. Thanks. Thank you. My name's Dan McKenzie, this is my wife, Lindsay. We're full-time RVers, we're in Breckenridge, Colorado, doing some winter camping. First five years of our marriage, we just traveled as much as we could. When we traveled, I just felt alive. I couldn't find that same feeling in anything else that I did. And we were in a small mountain town in North Carolina and it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. We were having an amazing weekend together and she just looked at me and she said, I don't want to go back. We have to figure out a way to make this something we can do. What if we could travel full time, take our house with us, take, take our, our dogs, dogs with us. But even when she said it, that seemed crazy. We started realizing that there was actually a community out there of other people from all different walks of life, all different yeah. age groups that were doing it. And then we just kind of said we're doing it. We had done so much international travel, we had kind of neglected America. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so once we started exploring America, we just fell in love. We have found a whole new happiness that I never knew we could find. Yeah. Every place offers something different and unique and we literally fall in love with every place we go because there's just different culture and different um, attractions that we can check out. We really enjoy going to breweries at every place that we go. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one of our favorite pastimes. We love, you know, checking out the dog parks and taking our dogs on hikes. Ice really? fish. Ice fish, yeah. We're, we're going to try. Yeah, <laughs> that's another thing about RVing and the lifestyle is that you don't have to have a plan. Yeah. Like a lot of RVers you talk to, they'll, you ask, where are you going next? And everyone's like, I don't know, we might go here, we might go there. You can chase the weather and enjoy the seasons in the summer, or you know you can do winter camping. Coming back to Colorado in the winter is an awesome opportunity for us. Parks that we like to visit actually have less people during the winter. And then when we get really cold and we're tired of the snow, we can just head out, head out. and go chase a little bit warmer weather. I think the thing that probably surprised us the most about RVing was the community. But through the internet and through social media, I can't even believe how many friends that we've made and all the connections and the community that's out there that supports you. It's pretty incredible. It's so nice just to be around like-minded people and the friendships that we're building are lifelong friendships because we just share this unique bond. We call it our RV family because that's exactly what it feels like. 
the first risk that like big risk that we took in our lives that led to a lot of other cool, exciting risks that we're taking now. We literally have a home on wheels, a traveling home. We don't live out of a suitcase like we used to when we would travel and take road trips. We've got everything with us and home really is where you park it. <laughs> and we just feel like we have the best of both worlds, really, our adventure lifestyle, but also the comforts of home. Demand for RVs is at historic levels, which is why we are working around the clock to bring you over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. That's the largest selection of RVs in the world. Fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. RVs are made by Americans for Americans. And now you can see America for less. Shop over 80,000 factory fresh RVs starting at just $5 a day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. The Ultimate RV Show National Tour, Woo! week number eight, day number three. Guys, it happened like that. I, know. I mean, oh, seriously. So sad. You know what's interesting is uh, we've uh, done the frozen tundra. I actually have to leave True. here. The fact that I made it to Wichita it is a was miracle. a miracle. You guys it all is. know sure. that. Yep. So I'm going to go home and I'm going to be. You're going to uh, walk home, right? Because yes. you got the proper. Uh, you know, he is attire. ready to walk home. I'm actually going to go going to go shovel some snow and <laughs> yeah. ice out of my driveway so I can get my cars out. My neighbor's going to pick me up in his four wheel drive to get me back home. So I'm looking forward to that. So yep, he needs the, the whole suit. The coolest thing is we have everything you could possibly need for winterizings for spring to get your. RV ready. As a matter of fact, speaking I of think RVs, we should do an ultimate giveaway, Woo! Renee. Oh, yeah. My it's favorite. Time. It is my favorite. All right. So, somebody right now, if you register right now, is going to win an RV. And how do they register, Nelly? All they got to do is text URVS246642, and they could they could have won this RV. You yeah. know, they done it already. And the cool thing about it is, you say, oh, well, I didn't get in in time. Listen, once you register now, you're in for the entire tour. Two more weeks. We've got Portland next week. We've got Mesa coming up, and we're really excited. We want to give you something for thousands of dollars. Here we go. All right. Do it, Sean. All right. Drum roll. Drum roll. Come on. Drum roll. Drum roll. Drum roll. We're giving away... We are giving away a Coleman Lantern LT-17B. Oh, man. Okay, this is ready? our most For popular free. brand right now that we cannot even keep on the lots, and you're going to get one. right? I can't see anything. My glasses are fogging so up. They're just so awesome because they can, you can pull them with anything. Yes, They're you just, can. Just such a nice, perfect, small trailer. So, without any further delay, in Sean Parr voice, <laughs> Rocky Pumpo! Yeah! 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 And the crowd here goes crazy as well. Rocky oh, Papa, wow. congratulations. You got yourself an RV. Bryce, Nelly, the Jurgies, best part of the weekend so far? Rocky went in an RV so he can now travel with us. Yes, the there you road. go. Um, Hit the road. His um, imitation of you was <laughs> pretty spot on. <laughs> Renee, best part of your weekend? Um, sorry, but, you know, being the Jurgies again. Yes! Sorry, yes. Oh. Because they know it won't happen. <laughs> Sean, your favorite part of the weekend? Just getting to getting to hang out with everybody again, man. Just getting to spend this time yeah. and yeah. and just you know getting to grow closer with everybody and just have such a great time. The whole production team, everybody's just been wonderful. It's been a pleasure to be here with you guys. We and have the you, greatest. Go ahead, Bryce. Sorry, when you guys are watching on the stream, all your comments, it's fun reading those and seeing those as well. And yes, that brings up a good point. Not only did Rocky win. The RV. But one of you is going, uh, we are hiding an actual treasure, geocache treasure, for a free RV. What? And the clues for that are going on our Instagram at the Jurgies. So if you've been following along this Ultimate RV Tour, we've been hiding these throughout the states and getting, people are winning $500 at Camping World. One's going to be for free RV. Yeah. Holy cow. Holy cow. All you got to do is go find say. it. I think you guys said it perfectly. This is a family atmosphere. You are part of this family. And to think about this, oh, I, I wasn't going to get emotional, but seriously, all kidding aside, when you talk about eight weeks of being on, this, on the road, 
And you got this amazing family of people that have tuned in. Over 13 million of you now said, I want to be part of the camping world, Gander RV and Outdoor Family. We can't thank you enough. Happy RV and let's get you on the road. We'll see you next week. Same place, same time from Portland in Oregon. And we look forward to seeing you. I'm Sean Parr on behalf of the Jurgies and the Flippin' Tilbies. Until we see each other next time, which will be next week. God bless. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Yeah. yeah.